everybody. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the treehouse. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, we're working on a new commission. I can't quite get the canvas at the right angle. I'll turn up our mic today too. Let's turn up the mic because I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be super close to it. I'm gonna be kind of far away. So this should hopefully catch me when I'm talking. And it's clearly catching Kitaro. Let's turn Kitaro down. <laughs> Sometimes he's a little bit too much. Hi Daniel, welcome in dear, glad to see you. Hi Timidly, welcome back sweetheart. Hi Naomi, glad to see you. How's everybody feeling today? I'm just prepping our canvas. That's all I'm doing right now, is just prepping our canvas. Yeah, this is one of my big commissions. This piece, this canvas right here is a big one. Like a giant, a giant commission. It's my biggest one. <laughs> it's the biggest one you can get. <laughs> Hi, Increasing Paranoia, welcome back. So I started an hour later today. I hope that's okay. I started for a couple of reasons. Number one, wow, last night. <laughs> wow. Wow, we, last night. Um, I started an hour later because I got a bit tired at the end of the evening. But um, I didn't actually go to sleep, like, straight away. Like... I did not fall asleep right away. I was actually up for quite a few hours still. So I decided that I needed a bit more rest. <laughs> so we started an hour later than we would normally, but we're still here. We're still here. I think I'm gonna allow uh, channel points today, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm gonna let you guys use channel points for readings. So let me turn them back on, because Wednesdays I usually have channel point readings. So let me go back in and make adjustments to the channel points. And which ones are turned on? Excuse me, turned on. So I'm going to just turn on everything. Perfect. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so if you are interested in using channel points for reading, you can today. But other than that, we're going to be painting. But I'm just prepping the canvas right now, so... Ah, Daniel, thank you so much, hon, for all those bits. Hi, Nettie Yeti. Welcome in, dear. How are you feeling today? And you share rewards. Thank you so much, Daniel. You're so sweet, hon. I appreciate you. You're always very sweet. I have... I'm just wetting down the canvas right now. So I'm kind of prepping... Prepping? Preparing and prepping... Pre prepping? Uh, the canvas to be painted. Um... This canvas sat in my closet for a while. And it had some pretty, it had some pretty intense folds in it. So I'm wetting down the canvas. So it has some stretch to it. And it allows all of those folds and bends and you know, everything like that. It has all of that kind of softened and taken care of. 
So it's just water right now. It's just water. We're just prepping it. Hi, Bel Air Music. Welcome back. Glad to see you. I had you at Magical Forest, Miss Umbra. Yeah. So this piece, um, this this commission piece that we're going to be working on today, is a sister piece to another painting. So, um. This, that one, right here, in the, yep, portfolio. Oh, camera, right here. So I painted that one. This is a sister piece to that painting. So they're gonna sit next to each other. So they commissioned me to paint um, a second part of the painting, like continue the painting into another canvas. So that's what we're working on today. Yeah, I do sell the paintings, Happy. Mm -hmm. I sell art prints on my Etsy, too. I also sell some original paintings on my Etsy. Most of my stuff, though, is done through commission. Especially recently. Which means um, I'll be commissioned to do a painting. And it's pretty fun because you never know what's going to happen. And I already got one theme. I got, a couple th I got a couple things on my mind for this one. And I've done commissions for this person before. Is this my full-time job? It is. Happy, yeah. Yeah, I also do um, intuitive card readings and I run a, a Patreon with classes and courses. So, I do a lot. I put stuff on YouTube. <laughs> I do it, I do it all. <laughs> Usually during the day, during the day we paint and it's way different than the rest of our schedule, so. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, we never know what's going to happen in any of the paintings. We never have any idea. Nope, we never have any idea. This one I do have some ideas though. So, maybe I'll have a reference image saved up. Anyway, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll do that later. This, this painting here. It's got a river in the background. You can probably barely see it. But I wanna bring the river in here. So I'm gonna see if I can line it up. We're gonna see how accurate I am to lining it up. Because I would wanna put the river, pull it through here, and like end it at the bottom of the canvas, somewhere around here. That's kind of what this is, Daniel. Except it wasn't pre-planned that way. So it's going to be interesting to see how we're able to like flow them together. And it's going to be even more interesting because I don't have that I don't have that painting to like look at. Like it's gone. That painting's gone. So it'll be interesting to see how I'm able to blend it together it, through time and space. <laughs> known of its of its memory in my mind perfect actually all that water took out all of our folds which is fantastic so i'm just going to let it dry cuz i don't want to i don't want to paint uh, on it quite yet. So we'll let it dry for a minute. So yeah, this one's continuing on from another painting that we've already done. So I'm super excited. I'm thinking about putting a river and it stops about here. So it kind of curves off the side of the corner here. 
Then I'm gonna have like a rainbow. Um, not a arched rainbow though. It's gonna be like a rainbow swirl into this space. And this is actually gonna have a figure. So it's gonna be interesting because I never actually painted a person. Like, I've painted figures, like shadowy figures, light figures, um, humanoid shapes, like our astral painting. Like this one? See, this is a humanoid figure, but I've never actually like painted a person. I'm not really sure how they're gonna, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work or how I'm gonna paint the person, but I do feel like a person, the person needs to be standing in the um, rainbow spiral. So I'm, I'm kind of getting reminded that, that I'm kind of getting reminded of rainbow energy. <laughs> like they're standing in a, in a vat of like rainbow energy, basically. Oh yeah, I have. You did that commission portrait once, Miss Umbra. Oh yeah, that's true. That was special though. That was for a friend. <laughs> that was for a friend. Mm-hmm. King, you want me to paint you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> paint your face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anybody who hasn't wanted themselves painted. At some point. No, it wasn't a full figure. Uh-uh. No, it was just the top half of their body. Sorry, I really like this song. <laughs> you don't want yourself painted, Miss Umbra? What? You don't? Never? <laughs> Never paint me. <laughs> hey, Ender, welcome in, hon. Glad to see you. Yo, my girl's looking hella lovely. Thank you, Ender. I appreciate you, hon. <laughs> I'm letting the canvas dry at the moment. We took out all the folds in it. It was sitting in the... It was sitting in the... Uh, closet. So it had lots of folds in it. So we just wetted it down just to let the folds kind of soften. Hey, Nana Moonbeam. Welcome in, hun. Thank you. Welcome into the treehouse, dear. Ender says, I would love to be painted, but you feared you fear that you would ruin someone's canvas just because your face is on it? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? That's not how it works. That's not how it works. You've been photographed way too many times already, Miss Umbra. Plus, if someone painted a portrait of you and you didn't like it, you would feel so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Because, you know, you know they didn't just, like, snap a picture and put a filter on. Like, they took the time and and put in the, the details and, like, really, really put a lot of energy into it. So, yeah, you'd kind of feel like an ass if you didn't like it. Hey, Nar, welcome in, dear. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's okay, though. That's all right, though. It's so hard to capture a person's likeness, too. Yeah, it has to be... I don't know. I know, um, Laura does a really good job. I was gonna say, there are people who do really good jobs really good jobs, really good, a really good job at capturing the essence of people. Like Laura is one that does a really good job. I don't know if she's here. 
No, she's not. I don't remember her tag name. Laura Pololin, I, I host her a lot. She goes really fast. And she has her own unique style to it. But, like, the likeness comes through like no other. And you're like, wow. Actually, yeah, I know exactly who that is. <laughs> is it hyper-realistic? No. But it's really cool and unique. And it, I can tell who it is. It says, Ace says, hi Luna, thank you so much for last night. How are you feeling? Are you feeling better today, Ace? Than you were last night? Are you feeling more centered in you? I hope so. <laughs> You're doing a gravity fail falls canvas? Gravity falls? What do you mean gravity falls? Just letting the paint drip. That's what I do. I just let the paint drip down the canvas. And I'm like, okay, it looks good. <laughs> okay, it looks good. <laughs> That's the fun part. Gravity Falls canvas is, so Gravity Falls is a TV show? Wow, I, I live under a rock. I'm like Patrick Star. <laughs> I live under a rock. <laughs> Especially when it comes to TV. You're doing a black canvas, Roger? Nice! <laughs> I like it. So, so much lighter today. I'm glad, Ace. I'm glad. Zoom. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> for your subscription. <laughs> we are painting today. We are working on a new commission piece. Um, this one, this commission piece was, how do I say this? It belongs to, it's like a sister painting to a painting that we've already done. So it's almost like a continuation of the story of an original painting that we did a while ago. And it's kind of continuing on the story and the art piece. So these will be sitting next to each other on the wall. Um, the first, maybe I will get a nice screenshot of this that we can, like a reference image that we can save. So I can like put it up because people are gonna keep asking. Not that I don't like to answer questions, but I'm telling myself I should do this because it'll be helpful. <laughs> Instead of waiting for the portfolio to like scroll through it. So let me just grab the picture. Let me go to, I'll add here. We'll add an image and we will add a new image. I'll browse it, hunt it down. Where is it? Hmm. I know I have the image because it's in my portfolio scroll. So I know it's here. It just depends. It just, it's me finding out where I put it. Which can be actually really hard because I have like way more file folders than I probably should. I have three different folders for art on my computer. And so, and that's not including like stuff that would be on like Instagram. I think it might be easier if I just find it online, but it's a sister painting. So we did, we did a magical forest painting before with a crow and a fox and a little river. And we had a lotus flower falling down out of the sky from the moon, right? This is a continuation of that piece, but we're painting um, kind of what would be beside it. It's almost like we're extending the scenery, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Here's the photo. Okay, open image and new tab. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to put it in the right spot. Artwork. Save. 
and I'm gonna upload it into the stream. At least stuff doesn't take me as long as it used to. Could you imagine now? <laughs> Could you imagine now? Well, where'd it go? I know I put it in here. Just two seconds ago. Alright, let's cancel. Try again. I had to- I didn't let it load. I didn't let it load. Oh, let's delete this. Streamer problems. Technology. Trying to add something new to your stream. It's gonna- it's gonna take you a minute. <laughs> it's gonna take you a minute. <laughs> I just named it reference. Because that's kind of what this is. Interesting. Huh. See, now I know I put it in there. Weird. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's in this one? I know I just put it in there. Check the file type. It should be the right file type. It should be the right file type. I'll grab it again, though. It's a JPEG. Oh, no, it's right there. Artwork scroll. scroll. Yeah, I went to the right place. Let's give it one more try, and then we'll move on. <laughs> one more try. We'll add it again. We'll give it one more shot. Browse. Desktop. Artwork scroll. There it is. Okay, yeah, we just need to try one more time. Wow, that's massive. <laughs> Look, it was this one. It was this one. This giant one. Do you see it? This was the original painting. With all the magical mandalas. So it's going to be very green, but we had the moon here at the top. We had the swirly vortex sky, the magical forest in the background. We had a fox and a crow and the wood with a wooden tree stump and all the mushrooms and um, all of that we had painted. So they wanted a the crow to them and the fox we're like looking off the side of the canvas so they're like we should actually um we should actually i'm gonna put it over here we should actually uh have a sister piece with this one so that is what we're working on this is gonna be a piece that belongs with it but next to it but also its own um its own story right it's not gonna just be a continuation of the scenery it's gonna blend into its own art piece basically hey Zarek delight welcome in hun hi spidey yeah that sky is very nice mm -hmm. hey gonko droid welcome back yeah that one turned out really beautiful mm-hmm yeah that one was a lot of fun but it was a lot of time right it was a lot of time and that one you can't buy prints of it's an original painting um, that one you can't do prints so it, when you do a commission piece um, you do kind of most likely get your own thing that no one else can have so it kind of makes it extra special honestly Especially when it's a big canvas. Like the smaller ones, I can get prints of. But the big ones, I can't find a printing place that will, that can handle this large of a scan. So a lot of the time, if you order a large commission, you're ordering a one, like a one and done piece. So. But I'm going to try to add in our river really quick. Is quite clever, nice work. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna add in our river. I'm gonna try to do light washes. Hi, 
Hi, Unstaplex. Welcome back. We're just adding our first layer of our painting. I think it's, what, probably this high up, that river. Let's pull up the image again. Because I want to catch, I want to catch the end of the river. Right here. That's probably about a third of, almost a third of the way up, maybe almost half. In between a third and half, so this is about accurate. So I'm just mapping a tiny bit. Enjoy yourself at work, Ace. Yeah, enjoy, Ace. <laughs> Have a good stream. Bye, chat. Bye, Ace. I appreciate ya. Thanks for saying hi. Popping in. I appreciate it. Making me scream. Making me fly. <laughs> Sorry, I really like Daro. Mac put up. Just putting down the color so I don't lose track of this particular um, mark. So I don't lose this Pete, this part of what we're working with. And I'll put a little bit of and this as well. I'll pick out the foreground. So the foreground is going to be quite high, honestly, which is the same with this painting that we're trying to using a reference for. Hmm. Is this going to be acrylic? It's going to be a mix of watercolor and acrylic. Mm -hmm. How the heck do you get your paint to dry so quick as well? This is the first canvas you're painting on in a while that you've attempted multiple colors on and it's taking quite a while to paint each later. Okay. Use more water. More water. Like I use very little paint and mostly water and I don't put a lot on my brush and I spread it out as far as it will go. Which means it's already dry. Which means it's already dry. Some of you are probably freaking out. <laughs> it's already dry. It's damp. Don't get me wrong. It's it's a bit damp, but it is pretty much dry already. Your heart skipped. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. You're like, oh god. Water, why didn't I think of that? You just dry brush each time with acrylic. I water down my acrylics quite a lot and I use barely any paint so like I have two palettes of paint with this green right now I have this one and this one but I only used like a very tiny amount of paint like a little drop of paint and mostly the rest of its water
You're learning so freaking much. I'm glad, Ender. And it's the same thing that I do for my Patreon too, right? So this river is going to come, in this painting, the river goes at an angle, but it goes through the middle of the painting. This one is coming through the corner. <laughs> that was you too, Miss Umbra. You were trying to make brown only using what was already on the palette. Mm, that's easy to do, making brown. You just mix all the colors. <laughs> hey, increasing paranoia. Welcome back, dear. So I'm putting very light, light layers. A very small, very small amount of lining stuff up everything will make sense as we go but it doesn't have to make sense now right i'm just i'm just giving us some direction We can get particular later. We can get particular later. But for right now, we just need to have an idea of what we're doing. It's not easy when the colors you used last time were mostly blue and maroon. <laughs> yeah, that would look more purple, wouldn't it? Purple is close enough to brown. We're just going in and filling in all of our spaces with our green. I don't want to make it too dark. Not too dark. just sharing the idea at this point. We're just sharing the idea. This also has a little bit of forest. So I will add some space for forest.
this song. <laughs> He's like screaming. You can hear him. <laughs> I'm going to put on our light behind us so you guys can see a little bit better. He's really feeling it. He is. You hear him? He's like, yeehaw. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. Hey, Beta. Welcome to the treehouse, son. So I do want a little bit of the purple to continue, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Beta boo. Thank ya. So this again is going to be mostly watered down. And a very tiny, tiny, tiny bit of, of paint. Mostly water though. We want to start with, we want to start with light layers. We want to start with light layers of paint because you can always build on top of what you have already. But if you just blotch on the paint, it's harder to get these lighter values. Especially if you're painting with watercolor or um, you're painting with very watered down paint and you have these translucent layers, right? Hey, Strawberry Blaze, welcome back, dear. Glad to have you. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of our purple Just filling in the space in between with a little bit of purple. We won't see this too much. It's a little bit, um, it is actually very, very light. I'm doing that on purpose so that we can add really in depth layers as we go. So, this is a sister painting that we're working on now to the painting next to me here. <laughs> or we're continuing the story, but with a different canvas. Okay. So I'm adding the swirly feature in just a tiny bit to our sky. This is going to continue to build and grow as we paint. But again, we're starting with very soft, light layers. We don't want to get too out of hand right before we start. Okay. So even though, yeah, everything looks flat, boring, hard to see, no definition. It's okay. It's okay. We will build that as we go. Hey Moreno, welcome to the treehouse, son. It's okay. We'll build it as we go. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I will also, I feel, so some of this purple and yellow sky that we have on this painting here next to me is going to come into this sky too, but it's going to fade away into a blue, I feel. Perhaps? I might change my mind. I might change my mind on that, but I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing. is letting a lot of things dry. As we go, which is why I'm able to put layer on top of layer on top of layer on top of layer with stuff I just painted is because I'm not using, I'm barely using paint and I'm barely using water on my brush. There's like hardly anything on here. And my paints are very watered down, so. I'm going to start putting in our rainbow swirl. Oh, sorry. I'm being reminded. Let's let's do our color wheel for the sky. What color should the sky Wah! <laughs> What color should the sky transition into? What color should the sky transition into? Let's get our color wheel. Cuz I don't know. With a rainbow, it really could be any color. Hopefully it won't be blue or green though. That's my only thing. So let's pull up our color wheel. Put in our put away our reference image. It's been a while since we pulled out the color wheel. As long as it's not blue or green. It could technically still be purple, because our background is our background on the original canvas was purple. But I kinda wanna transition it into something else. Red might be too intense. We'll see what the color wheel says though. <laughs> Let's see what it picks. Cause usually the color wheel picks the perfect color. I feel like it might pick yellow. <laughs> I feel like it might pick yellow. Let's see what it picks though. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually use the color wheel here. It should, it should say, um, Interact. There it is. Alright, so we're gonna place the intention that the color wheel is going to help us pick the color transition for our sky. Hi, young kings! Welcome in! You're just checking in with us. We're getting ready to roll our color wheel to help us pick the color of our sky. So the sky, we have a rainbow here that's gonna come in. We have our purple swirly vortex sky that's fading out. We want to know what color this should fade into. So we're looking for a sky color for our background. We're going to trust that the fates are going to pick the right color. Alright, let's roll the color wheel. A teal color? said, didn't I say not blue or green? <laughs> didn't I say, didn't I say, come on color wheel, were you listening to me? <laughs> were you listening to me? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, hold on. Let's try again. Thank you. <laughs> I said yellow, didn't I? <sighs> I mean, it's pretty funny though. That's usually what the color wheel likes to do. It's like, oh, blue and green, you said? Okay. And then it stops on like teal, which is blue and green. But I'm like, I'm feeling yellow. So then I roll it again. 
<laughs> then it picks yellow. Oh. I'm used to the color wheel giving us sass. Deal is just in between that. That's mental. The color wheel picks on me all the time. Young Kings, thanks so much for the host, hun. We did send our partnership application in. You did say blue or green. You didn't say both. <laughs> okay. Okay, Red. Okay. <laughs> no, I agree with you, though. <laughs> I totally agree with you. The color wheel always does give us some sass, though. Or like the one time where I said it's gonna pick orange and it freaking picked orange and that was the color I did not want. Oh my god, I was so mad. I was so mad, but it was so freaking hilarious at the same time. But I was so mad. I was like, I cannot believe it picked orange. <laughs> but it actually ended up working really well in, in the painting. You like the hair and highlights? Thank you, Young Kings. You're so sweet. I like it too. I feel much better with shorter hair. I didn't realize like how much I was like moving my body to like avoid my hair until my hair was gone and it wasn't in the way. And then I started recognizing, wow, my body's moving really weird doing this action because I would be I'd be like hyper aware of my hair like my hair is actually impeding me from like Normally doing everyday tasks and I like I didn't even realize it until my hair was gone and I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> it was very interesting But I cut it on the full moon which was funny even like being aware of it it's crazy because I didn't think I didn't think oh yeah no I wouldn't I wouldn't make that many compromises for my hair but you do when it's like down to your butt yeah, you do make compromises to your hair, to your life, because of how long your hair is. Kind of crazy. like these songs. That's what I do when you guys aren't here. I just blare music. I'm just singing along. <laughs> Driving my roommates crazy. <laughs> Hair down to your butt? Oh no, it was down to my butt, yeah. You can only imagine showering and it just whipping around like crazy when you're trying to clean. It would fall into things. Ender? It would fall into things. I'd have to like, I would actually like put it in a braid and then I would wrap it around my neck so I could like finish cleaning the tub because if I tried to clean the tub when I was done, my hair, my freshly clean hair would fall in all the gook. Or if I'm like doing the dishes, it would fall into the dirty dishwater. Like, it's insane. Like, 
how much how much of a pain in the butt my hair was that I just got used to doing and dealing with, you know what I mean? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm much happier with the yellow sky, for sure. Okay, don't get me wrong. Long hair is nice, but... I don't know. I'm almost feeling like... I feel like next time, when it starts hitting my belly button, I'm done. Like, I'm stopping. Because anything longer than that is just ridiculously in the way. <laughs> like, it's just in the way. And there's nothing I can do about it. Who knows, maybe I'll keep it like this for a while though. But my hair does grow really fast. <laughs> you always put into your hair into a hat before painting, Ender. Although you would have shortened the hair, I would always panic about dipping it into the paint. Oh yeah, I can't tell you how many times I would dip my hair into the paint. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just have the palette in front of me. Like, I'm holding my palette. Like at a normal level, you know, like at my, at my stomach. And like, I'm worried about my hair getting in it and it always got in it. It was just, it's kind of crazy. It's always, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. <clears throat> I didn't realize how hard it was though until getting rid of it. You know what I mean? Like you don't know how much almost kind of like you don't know how much things are impeding your life until they're not there anymore. And then you're like, oh, wow, okay. I didn't even realize that was causing me this much trouble. But I don't have to deal with it anymore. So it's kind of nice, like it's interesting. Like husbands, Miss Umbra? <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Considering both myself and Miss Umbra have been divorced, yeah. <laughs> I will, yes. <laughs> I will say yes to that. Hmm. Timidly says she was once her hair wanted her hair long, but you would cut it a lot. Mm. And it took you a while to realize that you really don't like long hair. Yeah, that does happen too. Yeah, maybe below chest level for you, Ender. I think long hair can be lovely, but yeah, I didn't realize how much it was impeding me from living my life. <laughs> like I, my life was scheduled around my hair. Like, uh, if I'm gonna do dishes, I have to do my hair first and braid it and not just braid it, but then braid it and like pin it up on the top of my head because it's just going to end up in the dishwater. <laughs> it's just going to end up in the dishwater. <laughs> Hi, Noodlin. Welcome in, huh? Glad to have you. Used to never cut your hair, Ender, and you painted Kingdom of Hearts on canvas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you ended the day with red ends on your hair. <laughs> you actually liked it a little bit. Yeah. I had parts of my hair that would tangle on my collars. And so, like, there were sections of my hair that were just missing because they were so tangled and knotted that when I brushed them consistently, like, over and over again, like it had ripped so much hair out. So I had I had sections where like my hair was only this long, but all the rest of my hair was like down to my butt. So I had giant sections of my hair missing. So it was really time to get it cut for sure. <laughs> I feel so much better. 
Mm. Your hair is so long, Miss Umbra. Oh yeah. You got you do get kind of used to how you have your hair, don't you? I wanna listen to Kitaro Mandala now. It's a Kitaro day. I hope we're okay with that. <laughs> I still wanna make that YouTube video. Or I'm like listening to Kitaro. On repeat. All of Kitaro's playlist. <laughs> and then I like speed run it. Oh man, that would be a lot of recording. Then I could like speed do it. Oh, this is interesting, sorry. I could like speed time it up. Hours and hours of recorded footage. Save it to the cloud. Speed it up and play it to one of my favorite songs from guitar. That would be cool. Sending love and light to you all. Thank you, Nude. I appreciate you, hon. Used to have hair down to your booty unstable, but after sitting on it too many times, I decided it was time to get it cut short for a while. Yeah, like it would get caught on my knee. Like I would climb into bed and it would get caught on my knee. And I'm like, ouch. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is get into bed and go to sleep and I can't because it's just, it's silly, honestly. It's silly, honestly. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ugh." laughs> And like, even working out, even when I was trying to do, even when I was trying to do my Qigong, some of the movements I couldn't do in Qigong very easily because I'd have to like bend my head around my hair to like do it and flow with it because my hair was impeding my Qigong movements. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. <sighs> it was crazy. <laughs> Like, things I didn't even, like, really expect. That you don't even, you just don't even notice, because you get so used to dealing with it. But, yeah, I feel much better now. I can wake up in the morning, roll out of bed, give my hair a little tussle. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. But I, this, this, I can still braid if I want to. Twas madness, they say. Yes, <laughs> it was madness. We don't know how she got through her day, honestly. I keep being reminded of Rapunzel in like Tangled, where she like hauls around her hair. Hi, Alcazar. Welcome, my dear. Glad to see you. Ready to rock? Yeah, this is Kitaro's kind of like rocky. Yeah. I like it. It kind of reminds me of like epic, well, epic, um, boss battles. Like, you know you're gonna, sh some shit's gonna go down when this music starts playing. <laughs> like, you know, you just know. <laughs> You love the movie, Tangled, or Rapunzel. Mm, yeah, I like that one too. 
What's not to like about the painter with the ridiculously long hair? I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. I had that. I was that until recently when I decided to cut all my hair off. Bye. <laughs> Except I didn't. My hair actually got lighter, not darker. Because her hair turns brown, doesn't it? If I remember right, her hair turns brown. <laughs> Fairfield says, hi, Luna. Yes, the music kind of sounded like a Sonic boss battle theme, doesn't it? <laughs> Was it blonde to brown, Alcazar? I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. I would watch me do a speed painting with uh, nothing but Kitaro music. I would watch that. <laughs> I would watch it. I'm gonna have to dedicate time to it then. If we do that, I'm gonna have to dedicate time to it. It would be epic. I'm gonna have to dedicate time to it. And it'd just be like an intuitive mess. It'd like just be an intuitive mess. We don't even know what it is. It would just be... Yeah, who knows what it would actually turn out to be. It would be a... It would be a fun mess. That we take... We take the time to... Just enjoy. Have fun. Grow it. See what we want it to become. Right? <laughs> yeah. Speed painting would give me man anxiety mad anxiety? Well, I'm think I'm saying if I speed if I speed it up, speed up the video. Like I'm painting at my normal pace, but the video speed is increased. So you don't have to sit here for like hours watching me do work on it. It'd be just in a matter of minutes to like one of to like one of Kitaro's songs or something. You know what I'm saying now? Do you, does it make sense now? <laughs> does it make sense now? <laughs> like a time lapse. Yeah! Thank you, King. You're working on music now on Stavelix? You're painting and working on music? Hmm. Oh, I understood it in the wrong way completely. It's okay, Ender. <laughs> Like a time lapse where you don't have to like sit there and watch me because I feel like it, it would be a long it would be a lot of recording honestly it'd be a lot of recording but I could just like rock out to guitar mm -mm -mm. I could sing at the top of my lungs and you guys wouldn't care because I muted it <laughs> and we're listening to guitar anyway <laughs> look back at the camera and be like and go back to what I was doing. Because <laughs> that's what I do anyway. <laughs> that's what I do anyway. <laughs> mm. Alright. I'm going to grab our watercolors. We're gonna put a little bit of red on our canvas. Just a tiny bit. You're finishing up a music project, are you? Ah, I like it. I like that.
Oh, I can hear the airplane flying above, above us. Bye, airplane. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to be obsessed with airplanes. Like, I would freak out. I would be, like, hyper excited about an airplane. I'm like a kid, and there's an airplane flying in the sky, and I'm like, wow, look at the airplane. Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> Yo, there's an airplane, aeroplane here too. What the hell? <laughs> you mean the airplane isn't part of the music? No, that's how close it was. <laughs> Although it would be believable with this music, thinking that there was actually an airplane in the song is believable with this music because that's just how Kitaro works. <laughs> I think you would try anything. He would try anything, I feel. All right. All right, so we're gonna put in our swirl. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna put the canvas next to the heater to dry. <laughs> you poor dear. That or I could just keep blowing on the canvas. Mm. You were that way with vintage cars, Bronco. You're like, look at the vintage car, oh my god. <laughs> I was just obsessed. I was just obsessed with the cars. So it's going to be like this rainbow swirl. Uh, you missed the reading request yesterday, fairy. Do you want one today instead? I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Hi, Strawberry Blaze. Hi. <laughs> you got zero patience. Ender, it's okay. <laughs> From like age five and up, you would freak out about cars <laughs> nice i don't know why i i remember my i think it was my dad um i think my dad got me an airplane when i was young and it was one of those airplane toys and we put it on our fan in my bedroom so i had a fan a ceiling fan in the bedroom and i remember there i think it was my dad who got me the airplane and it would it would fly around the room when the, when the, you would turn the fan on. I, I loved it. I thought it was great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my parents thought I was going to be a singer, a marine biologist, a, a pilot, or some type of artist. I'm pretty sure either one of those things my parents thought I was going to be because I was obsessed. I was like obsessed. Now I do, now I do art and like uh, intuitive card readings and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm not a, I'm not a singer, but I, I do, I do sing, but it's in my own time. I don't get paid to sing or anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not too late to do all those things. You've already got one down. That's true. You're starting your painting, painting timidly. Oh, I'm sending you extra. 
positivity for your painting, dear. Yeah, fairy, I'd be happy to do that card reading for you. Um, what what would be on your heart that you want uh, assistance with? Because we'll let this dry. We'll let this dry. We'll let this part dry. It's such a sweet childhood toy. It, yeah, it really was. Most of the time I would do like coloring books or I would draw for the most part as a child. I did a lot of coloring books or I would draw. I actually did a lot of, um, I call them paper people. They were basically paper dolls is what I used to make too. But I call them paper people because I didn't, it wasn't until much later where I would do like little outfits for them. Like I'd put the tabs, the folding paper tabs where you could like change their outfits. I actually made paper dolls, like when I was young. Yeah, I made a lot of them. Like there was a whole dresser drawer in my room, in my bedroom, a whole drawer, like a pretty, pretty big drawer. Nothing but these paper people, like these paper dolls. And it's just little pieces of paper, like they're thin little pieces of paper and the whole drawer is full. Like that's a lot of paper. <laughs> that's a lot of paper people. <laughs> that's a lot of paper people. <laughs> You remember shouting, there's an old car. My dad was a mechanic and owned his own shop. That's so cute. <laughs> there's an old car. Your dad probably loved that. <laughs> you used to sew Barbie clothes? Even though you only had two Barbies, you hardly played with them, Miss Umbra? Mm -mm. Yeah. So Fairy Fugrancy would like some guidance on career. The next step to live her passion for a living? Okay. Let me go to tarot really quick. The tarot category. And we'll see what we can pull up for you. The next step. And do your passion for a living. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. You had so much patience, patience as a child. You would have given up. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it way too much. I had a lot of alone time, a lot of solo time. And I really just loved being with me in my own space, and it just worked really well, honestly. It was funny though, because if I wanted to play with my sister, I would make a new paper doll. I'd be like, if I wanted to play with my sister really bad, which was like all the time, honestly. <laughs> it was like every day. <laughs> um, I would make a new paper doll and I would let her play with the new one. That's how I could convince her to play with me. <laughs> was if I made a new paper doll and she got to play with it. I'd be like, I made you a new paper doll. You want to come play? <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> hmm. So we'll do a quick reading for Fairy Frequency. So those of you who have never seen me do a card reading before, 
Um, I do intuitive painting. I also do intuitive card readings, energy reading, energy clearing, a bit of astral work. So that's what we're doing now for fairy. We'll just see what the cards say in regards to career. So any guidance for fairy? Ooh, thank you very much. Guidance for fairy in regards to career. It basically was Bronco. Yeah, an entire village in a drawer. Yeah, that's basically what it was. I like the first card. Fairy. Are you still in school, fairy? Because the first tar card is talking about um, learning or teaching or some form of education. So are you still in school? Yeah, it's a lovely memory. Mm -hmm. But we're leery to go back to school, maybe? You just graduated? Okay, okay. Let's draw all the cards and see what happens then. What comes out. For fairy. Fairy frequency. I'll show you the cards as they come out. I keep bumping my camera. <laughs> I just keep hitting it. Because hmm. I have some type of education a resistance to offers, a little bit of resistance. And then I have the high priestess, which is talking about um, like spiritual development. Three of cups. We'll draw two more cards. fate pick the cards so you'll see me shuffle a lot and I just wait I just wait for stuff to fall out you completely forgot Ender that I do tarot I do I mostly do um, energy reads I'm an intuitive reader so I don't actually know the meanings like the book meanings of the cards I just kind of plug in and see what they're kind of telling me behind the card. Whoa. But yeah, I do I do tarot. Usually we do tarot in the evenings. At night. During a way different shift than now. Our day shift is a bit more calm and quiet. Yeah, there's two, there's two hesitation cards here. You got introduced to the card reading side of things when you rewatched Lucy, so freaking interesting. Interesting. This is interesting, fairy. 
you always miss, you always miss the evening streams, Alcazar. It is kind of late. It is kind of late. Let's let's be honest. All right, I'm pausing Kitaro so I can like really plug into this. <laughs> we'll turn Kitaro back on. Hey, Jamoshe, welcome back. It's been a minute since I've seen you. How are you? All right. Let's plug it. Let's plug ourselves in here. This is saying something that you're resistant to, basically, fairy, is needs to be re-examined and evaluated. There's something that you are resistant to be doing because you're a bit suspect of it. Um, and this is saying you just need to go back and reevaluate it. Uh, and uh, it's almost kind of like this energy of you're, you're suspect of doing something because it's been something negative in the past and you're afraid that it'll come back and return and it will kind of like ruin your progress so you're kind of defending yourself from it and you're kind of also yeah there's a little bit of a suspicion energy that this is going to return to you and cause mayhem like you're anticipating this to show back up in the future and so you're you're turning down some type of opportunity or you're not taking an opportunity you're very guarded about taking some particular opportunity or going a particular avenue because it's caused pain in the past and you're kind of anticipating that even though you're not taking opportunities for this to grow it's going to grow anyway like it's very interesting energy i feel like there's something that you're trying to avoid fairy and because you're afraid that it'll destroy you like it once did in the past but this eight of um this page of pentacles here is kind of confirming that whatever you're afraid of you don't let your fear of whatever you're afraid of hurting you or ruining you or putting you back at square one or you need to not be afraid of this because it's hindering your growth it's hindering your you're not accepting opportunities you're not open to opportunities like you should be because you're afraid of this thing coming back into your life the page of pentacles is saying that you have actually defeated the dragon you're afraid of the dragon you're afraid of this thing in life that has caused you issues pain um it took over your life it made you not you and who you were you've defeated the dragon so you it's okay to open yourself up and take opportunities no one is going to i'm getting i'm getting to tell you fairy that no one's going to influence you and take over you in a way that they used to because you are not that same person that you once were right your fear of not wanting to be manipulated not wanting to be um pushed to do things that you actually don't want to do it's it's not actually it's not actually something anymore fairy that has that much power over you yeah you might bend a little bit sometimes but i don't see you being the person who's going to cave like you once were so i feel like with you for a uh, fairy in particular the, that's the general energy that's coming through for you um I'm also being told that there's some collaboration that you need to start working on, but also you're kind of afraid of collaboration because you don't want to, again, you don't want to be influenced by outside forces and have their opinions um, kind of push you in a direction that you don't want to go in. So I feel like your collaboration is very, you're guarded with that too, which is understandable because of you want to be secure in you but this is talking about collaboration sharing um the load sharing the workload right sometimes we feel with our mission and our purpose that we have to carry all of it on our shoulders 
and you realize you can't do that but you're also afraid of who to be selective with sharing the load with and this is okay but your fear is preventing you from utilizing some really great resources and people and opportunities and so be be a little more open in that okay the first card i'm gonna go card by card now so the first card is the hierophant this card often in my deck talks about um, some form of education some form of learning it can be a teacher or a student energy um this one in particular i feel I f do you feel, um, for you in particular, Fairy, that you don't know how to utilize your education? Like what you've learned? Like you've learned a lot of stuff, but you're, you're, I feel like you're struggling to see how your education fits with what you're doing. Hi, Sea Goat. Welcome to the treehouse, son. I appreciate you. You've been having a hard time, Jamosh. I'm sorry, dear. Your terms are this Friday. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be sending you some extra love. I'm going to be sending you some extra love. I haven't heard from you in a minute, Fairy, so I'm assuming you're just listening. And maybe you're on mobile, but um, does this card make sense? Do you feel like you're learning, you're figuring out how to use your knowledge or your education in what you're currently growing? And it's having a hard time meshing? Hey, Step Ruth. Welcome to the treehouse, hon. Glad to have you. You handed in a project? Aw, oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm. Yes, I'm here. That's very true. Okay. Yeah, because. <sighs> It, it's almost you're afraid of like a wasted energy but i also feel like you are putting an emphasis on making things mesh if that makes sense hi jay welcome back dear hi hey luna hope everyone's doing well we are doing well huh we are doing well I, I feel this this emphasis of just relaxing, fairy. You don't have to force your knowledge into what you're growing right now. It can, when time progresses, you'll be able to flow better and utilize your knowledge um, in a more particular way. But I feel like you're trying to force a puzzle piece together because you don't want what you've learned to be quote unquote wasted. You know what I'm trying to say? You understand what I'm saying. It's not wasted. You are just doing something very different right now. And it takes time, right, to cultivate how to use all of you and incorporate all of you into what you're doing. Okay? So you could do an online course of some kind. Um, you could offer some type of new type of avenue or piece of you that would aid other people in other ways, right? I'm not just, here's the truth, I'm not just a tarot reader, right? I'm not just a painter. I'm not just an intuitive guide. I'm not just, you know, somebody who only does this or that, right? I have multiple layers to me. So I have multiple avenues of content that I create to kind of reflect all of my knowledge, all of my skills, all of my abilities. This is what you need more of, right? And this is what you're trying to find, how to use this, how to spread more of you out in a very uh, tangible way so you don't feel like any part of you isn't being used. The Two of Swords, again, is the energy of, I feel like I'm not quite ready to take 
certain opportunities. I'm afraid to take opportunities. I don't want to be manipulated, is what the Two of Swords is saying. Right, fairy? You have some people coming up to you and they're like, Oh, I love what you do. It's so great. It's amazing. But you accept it, but it's hard to accept at the same time because there's a suspicion behind their intentions, right? There's a suspicion behind their intentions. This makes it difficult for you to feel the love and appreciation that people are actually trying to share with you. Soften this a bit, right? Yeah, some people are disingenuine. Who freaking cares? Okay, yes, some people are disingenuine. Who cares? Let them go. Appreciate and don't make that your, don't make that close your heart off because you'll miss you'll miss receiving the love from the people that actually are sharing genuine love. So pull your suspicion down, fairy. Try and get rid of it as much as you can. Um, if people are causing problems and being disingenuine, just get rid of them. End of story. Just get rid of them. Bye. I need people who are here for me. Okay? You are growing more suspicion because you're allowing more people around you to be disingenuine. Cut them out, fairy. This is tough love. Cut them out. They're hurting you and your energy, and it's not allowing you to really uh, absorb the good because you're shutting off, okay? And you also have people who... Um, are sending you different forms of opportunities, right? So we have a heart and a flower. There's two different types of connection people are trying to make, and both of them, on one level or another, are feeling a little bit wonky sometimes. Thank you for the subscription. Sumter, I appreciate you, dear. Hey, CJ, welcome in, hun. How you doing? We're doing really great. I'm doing one card reading for Fairy since she brought her friends over last night, and she was she fell asleep, so she she couldn't take it last night. So we're doing it today, and we're also working on a painting, but we'll go back to it in a minute. <laughs> so this is about being really picky about who's around you. I don't care if somebody is footing the bill for something. If they're a jerk, they're a jerk. End of story. I feel like with this card in particular, Fairy, this High Priestess card, I feel like this is the part of you that you want to show more of, Fairy. But it's not mainstream, right? There's a magical part, a magical piece to fairy frequency. But we don't, we get to only see about maybe 5% of that. So this is you saying fairy that you want to basically be all of you, but you're afraid to do so. This is saying, some of the best energy on Twitch, to be honest. Thank you, young kings. <laughs> it's really positive energy. Yeah, it is nothing but love and appreciation and genuine aid and assistance for people. Yeah. Hi, Melinda. So this is saying you want to bring more of your magical side out. But it's not mainstream. And it's hard because it's a very beautiful part of you. And it's actually a very deep part of you. And you want it's something you want to cultivate. And it's something that's been a part of you since you were young. But it's hard because it, you know that part is not for everybody. If you... If you want to grow something like this, your more spiritual side, in a very open way, 
do it in a way that makes you feel secure. If you don't want to do that to your mainstream audience, if you don't want to share that with everybody, but more of an intimate group, that's okay. You don't necessarily have to display all of you to everybody. But you do need to be showing all of you to somebody. You do need to be expressing yourself fully to yourself and to others around you. It's okay to be choosy about who gets what though. But I feel with you, there's a part of you that wants to come out and be expressed, fairy. But you are choosing to not express it at all because you're worried that people won't like it. Express it to people. You can be picky about who gets to see that part, okay? But it still needs to be expressed, okay? The Three of Cups, again, is talking about collaboration, right? You want to collaborate with other people, but, ooh, some of them, some of them just don't feel right. Right, fairy? You want to collaborate. Yeah, they're awesome people. Yeah, they do good content. Yeah, they got a lot of people around them. Yeah, you guys do similar stuff. Yeah, they're really nice, but mm, there's just something that you don't agree with. And it's hard for you to let go of that. Right? Because you don't want to be manipulated. You don't want to lower your standard. Right? You don't want to lower your standard at all. But it's hard for you to find this in where you are at. So this is about making a place where you are accepted. Right, fairy? More people who have closer vibes to you. It doesn't mean those other people are not great. Right? It just means we're looking for more people like us. And that doesn't have anything to say that those other people don't have value. You know what I'm saying. Mm, okay. Fairy, this card right here is going gonna, is gonna to have something kind of hard to talk about. This card. This is my Seven of Swords. Do you have one or two people in the background, Fairy, that work with you? One or two people in the background that might be kind of a partner with you? And they... They want you to only do specific things. I feel like these people are like kind of controlling you and telling you you can only do these specific things. But they're doing it because they they feel it's what's best. But they're they're very much in control and you are suspect of them because you just want to be you and you're like it shouldn't matter what i'm doing right it shouldn't matter what i'm doing why do i only have to do this specific thing these people are also causing your suspicion of others around you that are genuine fairy you need to do you no one else, and I have a meditation about this that I channeled yesterday before, before even getting on stream. I channeled this meditation. You need to do you, fairy. No one else is control, in control of you. I don't care who these people are. I don't care if they're family. I don't care if they're best friends. I don't care if you, they helped you build whatever it is you're working on. I don't care if you hired them to help you. I don't care who these people are. Bye. 
if you want to have this freedom that you're looking for, fairy. If you want to have this a full expression of you, if you want to be less suspect of what others mean for you and feel for you and are trying to show you and share you, get rid of the garbage people, fairy. I say this with love because I want you to be you and be happy being you. And that means you can't have people manipulating you around you. Even if, even if they have good intentions, it doesn't matter. You are being pushed to do and be a very particular way when you really don't want to be. Is that fair to you? Fairy? It's not. It's not. And you will find a good way to balance this out. Okay? You will find a way to say goodbye in a way that is respectful. Even though they're not always respectful to you. Okay? Don't create karma. You know what I'm talking about. Don't create karma with saying goodbye. Do it the right way. Okay? And you will be fine. They will find out their own way. Alright? This is something that you've dealt with for a while, fairy. Okay? This... All people want to help me, and I, I do really well, and I listen to their instruction, and I follow their rules, and then I lose track of who I am, and then I get, then I don't want to do the thing anymore. This has been what you do for a while, fairy. And this is the dragon that you are getting ready to defeat for the final time, all right? It's okay, fairy. It's all right. You understand why this keeps following you for a while? And why you do something beautiful and it feels like it's ucky? And it feels gross and you're like, I thought I loved this thing, but maybe I don't. You love the thing. You just don't love being boxed up. Right? You don't love being put into a box and been saying this is fairy right that's the part you don't like because you really just want to have your wings free and you want to fly but you feel like you can't because you're in a box okay Let's see if there's anything else that these cards want to say this is why it's hard fairy and I think you needed a more intimate setting for this re this reading because I think I think with your raid it would have been maybe a bit much for you so I think you you actually need it was best to get it today in a in a group of people who are just like it's all right we love you we get it you know Find a way to express you outside of prying eyes, right? <laughs> it was perfect. Thank you so much. Awesome insight. You're welcome, fairy. Sweetheart, you're welcome. You're welcome. You do really good work. You do really good work. Thank you so much. You're welcome, fairy. Much love to you, hun. Much love to you, hun. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. So I do normally do tarot streams on in the evenings. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we generally do tarot streams. But 
on Wednesdays when I'm doing artwork, um, I will let you guys use channel points. So like, if you go down to the charged amethyst, we did fairies cards because she brought in a raid last night. A pretty significant one. So we did her cards today for that as a thank you. And, uh, but if you are wanting a reading and you, you have a hard time getting in queue, which is very understandable, um, you can use channel points today. You never thought you'd see it in here? <laughs> Doing an art stream? Really? <laughs> you need to take off and have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, Young Kings. I appreciate you. <laughs> have a nice time, hon. Yeah, so Friday... Friday of this week? Oh, you thought you'd never see Fairy get a read? Really? Really? Hmm. I do. I could see it. Good to see your smile, dude. Good to see you too, young king son. I appreciate you. <laughs> the reading actually hit home for you as well, Ender. Hmm. Did it? You have some people too? <laughs> it is hard. It is hard. Because we, we want to believe that Everybody's got good intentions, and they do. It's just sometimes our intentions don't match. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? We had that relationship rant last night. Where I'm like, y'all need to quit fixing each other and just freaking love each other. Stop fixing, stop trying to fix each other. Because the acceptance and love itself will automatically heal and fix the situation. To tell you the truth. To tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, considering one more person ender. The only time I don't cut people off anymore is family. Because they're gonna be there no matter what. You're always gonna have to deal with your family. But everybody else, you can say bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I wish you the best. But bye bye. <laughs> I wish you the best. But bye bye. Hmm. Hi, winter, wild winter child. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well this Wednesday. We are doing well. We are doing well. How are you doing? I'm going to make our river a bit thinner. See alien sounds. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> sounds like the X Files. Sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta hold back from going into a deep nose rant. Give me a moment. It's okay, Ender. <laughs> I love Guitaro. Have you ever watched the original Gaia Symphony? I don't think so. Gilfnoid? I don't think so. 
You just needed some chill, healing vibes, winter child. Aw, oh, you're going through a rough patch. We'll send you some hugs. Oh. You love the X-Files? Me too. <laughs> Me too. I loved the X-Files. <laughs> Is it impossible to watch now? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? They don't have it on Netflix or something? They're not on YouTube or anywhere. You need the laser disc. Really? Too much truth. Sorry. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> we have to censor it. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Hurry, censor it, take it away. <laughs> oh. Every time I think of X-Files, it pops into the mind. All you think of is the all-seeing eye. Really? <laughs> really, really? Hi, Psychic I am. Glad to see you, hon. We're working on a painting today. Do we like the shape of our river? I'm gonna make it a bit thinner. I keep making it a bit thinner. <laughs> Reminds you of what the Apollo astronauts described the music does? They heard on their headsets as they crossed the backside of the moon. They said they could hear some type of spacey interference that sounded like music. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like it. The space, the space music. Like space dubstep on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> didn't Led Zeppelin, didn't Led Zeppelin have like a dark side of the moon? Who was it? I'm bad at pop culture. Somebody's gonna have to help me with this one. Somebody knows what I'm talking about though. Hey D Dandy, thank you for the raid. I appreciate you very much. How have you been? Was it Pink Floyd? That's probably right. Pink Floyd, thank you for helping. Pink Floyd, yes. <laughs> they were playing Pink Floyd on the dark side of the moon. That's what it was. They just put a spin on it. <laughs> did the VIP sub badge give it away? It did, Naomi. <laughs> you love to see it. I really do. How did your stream go, D? Thank you for the raid. So those of you who are new, I am Lady Lunastar. I do intuitive painting, which is what this hot mess is right now. <laughs> um, this is We're working on a sister painting to this one. Sorry, cameras. Cameras are hard. <laughs> this one right here. That's what we're working on. I also do card readings, intuitive card readings, energy reading, all kinds of things. Welcome in. How did your stream go, D? <laughs> I would actually love to see them play that music on the dark side of the moon. Hi, Copper Bean. Welcome back, dear. You got to chat everyone today during the readings and ramble about stuff. It was so much fun. I'm glad. And you do the intuitive reads too, right, Dee? I 
I think I've watched your stream like once. I really would like to, I, there was a one point in time when I was like watching all the tarot streamers and I was like hanging out and having a good time and just chatting, but like I don't have time anymore. I actually feel kind of bad. I think I've only seen your stream like once or twice maybe. <laughs> I'm crying a lot today. We will uh, send out some extra love and peace, some comfort. Do we all need some comfort? We all need a hug today. Is that what it is? Has amazing readings. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. From what I saw, I was I really enjoyed it. Sorry to hear that, wild child. Yeah, it's all right. Be sending some extra love. I am going to light some incense, though. We'll send big hug energy out. <laughs> what a great song. I do love Kitaro a lot. So this is a sister painting that we're working on. It's gonna have the purple vortex sky back into a yellow sky. And then it's going to have this rainbow swirl. And we're gonna have a person kind of sitting here. But I'll put the image away right now because we don't need it. Hi Meta Lunar, welcome in dear. We all need a hug today, accurate. There you go. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Rob says, um, Luna's looking amazing as always. So happy you still get commissions. I do, Rob. I do. How are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes you just have to feel the feelings and do what you can, D. Mm -hmm. Just breathe through them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. A comfy, warm hug. Sorry, you would switch screens. It's okay. It's a sister painting, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna put a rainbow swirl. It's actually gonna have kind of two parts to it. A little bit. epic boss battles. Sorry, I really, I enjoy this stuff way too much. Hey, Littorio, welcome in. If you finish your own painting, Timely, you'll be amazed. I think you can. You want a second hug? Okay. Here, let's focus. Let's focus. intensifies. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> well, there you go.
Did it work? <laughs> For everyone else who needs it too. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, it was behind the... So Bronco says, Yeah, they described it as some kind of whistling or wooing. There wasn't really any radio signals from Earth on the far side of the moon because it's kind of like a shield. Oh yeah, Apollo 11 reported the same phenomenon. Uh, the only thing I can think of is when the moon rang, like reverberated, maybe it was part of that. There's a NASA recording of the moon reverberating and vibrating like a bell, like ringing like a bell for like hours. And I was like, oh, the moon. Mm. I've been saying the moon is a death star for a very long time. <laughs> I've been saying the moon is a death star for a very long time. You didn't expect to get so many hugs from doing a raid. Aw, <laughs> it's all right, Dee. <laughs> you missed it, it's okay. Did we ever get a second person to claim a sketchbook reward? I can show you what it looks like. But yeah, we did. I'll show you what it looks like, Rob. So this is our sketchbook. So you can use channel points to redeem a sketchbook painting. A mini one. A fast, fast mini sketchbook painting where uh, you pick the subject matter <laughs> as long as it's appropriate. Right. So this was Rob's. So Rob got his Rob got his name in there with a mini painting. And then we had our second one with Miss Umbra, which was the little rabbit. The rabbit with the uh, floral the floral headdress. Yeah, so those are the two that we have in there so far. The Sheba. Mm. <laughs> it reminds you of the Dragon Quest series. The song does. Mm. I kind of like that. As long as it's appropriate. <laughs> I know some of you. Come on. Some of you would be like, I choose a butt. And I'm like, come on, really? <laughs> Yeah, a butt with a fart. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I mean, it would be funny. It would be funny to see how I managed to do it, but... <laughs> you remember reading about it, Bronco? Mm-hmm. You think you've mentioned it before? I know I've mentioned it before, yeah. Very interesting correlation. I like how you're thinking. Mm, yeah. Not a butt. Common. But maybe with leggings? But a butt with leggings on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go now. It was lovely to drop in today. Thank you, D. I appreciate you, hun. <laughs> Pumpkin says, what did I just walk into? Talking about leggings. <laughs> it's officially hit middle school levels. It really has. Y'all need to grow up. Come on. 18 plus stream. Come on. <laughs> yeah, bye, D. I appreciate your raid, hon. Have a wonderful time. Oh gosh, you guys crack me up way too much. I'm not supposed to enjoy my job this much. Come on. You're supposed to make my job miserable. <laughs> Grow up. Nah, I'm good. Thanks for the offer. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you mean be a child forever? That sounds more fun. Being a child forever sounds way more fun. Mm. 
you want miserable, don't tempt me. <laughs> Ender's saying he can make your dreams come true. Are you painting pumpkin today? Are you really? Aww. <laughs> I'll let that one, I'll pause that one for now. That's a good view. You're all painting with me. I freaking love it. <laughs> Can't wait for a mega mega awesome party stream. <laughs> you can't partner. We might just I might just do a just chatting stream where we just we just talk. And I'm like not distracted at all. <laughs> you guys can ask me anything. Not that you guys can't ask me anything anyway, but I don't know. I don't know what we want to do. How would we celebrate? We do just like a massive... Is that when we're going to do Kitaro? I don't know. What do we want to do? Because it's going to... I mean, it's going to happen. Do you post it in art games? What are you looking to post, Timidly? Uh, your art? If you have your art that you want to share, um, you can put it in the art section, or you can put it in self-promotion, or, I mean, you can really put it just about anywhere. <laughs> the only one I get picky about is the main chat room, because it can get kind of chaotic in there. <laughs> You'll bring all the distractions under, oh god. Kitaro is making you sleep, Gilf. It really? Kitaro is? I think Kitaro is a little intense for sleep, but that's just me. You sure it wasn't the hug? You sure it wasn't the hug? Mm -hmm. You drew a square. It reminds you of a coworker of yours increasing paranoia? We were still in the office, he had to come back to the corner. You'd work with two other people, and we'd always be laughing. He'd tell us to stop having fun. <laughs> I'm slapping my knee. I'm slapping my knee. You just can't tell. He'd tell us to stop having fun, because work is not meant to be fun. Then he'd show us a photo of his badge, where he looks miserable. <laughs> and tells us, this is your future. <laughs> oh my god, I would like this, I would like this guy. <gasps> oh. I used to do that at the hospital. I used to do that at the hospital. I also... When I was working at my corporate office, um, I used to call Friday, F it Friday. <laughs> I would call Friday, F it Friday. It's all right, it's F it Friday, don't worry. <laughs> we would, me and my partner would work our butts off all week. I mean, we, we hauled butt getting our work done. But it was great because Friday, we got all of our stuff done. So it was very, it didn't matter what happened Friday. We could handle it because we didn't have all this other work looming over us. So we would call it F it Friday because we're just like, oh, crap hit the fan? Eh, it's all right, it's F it Friday, we're good. Your style of painting is like fill in the blanks like a coloring book. Aw, that would be nice though, Ender. You drew a square, Robin, you're so proud of it. 
it's hip to be a square. Dun, dun, na, na, na. <laughs> dun, 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 na, 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 na. <laughs> I'm aging myself so much. <laughs> Huey Lewis in the news. That was one I used to listen to a lot. Here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> Mm. It's kind of like I give zero, zero Fs on Friday at work. It's where we try to fix everyone else's issues because they couldn't be bothered. Yeah, that's exactly what we would do. That's exactly what we would do. <laughs> and so we're just like, who cares? Yeah, sure, we'll take your crap because we have finished ours already. But it was actually like pressure free. It was pressure free because at that point we were just offering our extra assistance. And so you're almost kind of like, hey, dude, I'm just helping you. So you should be glad that I'm just helping. Like the pressure of like, I guess overachieving is kind of like nullified. Does that make sense? What do we want to listen to now? What do we, what do we feel like we want to listen to now? It's hip to be a square. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Aw. They give us fields of rice. Who does? Inari Okami and Amrasu? Really? Oh, rain stick. I have a rain stick. Hey, Simtron. Welcome in, hon. Glad to have you back. You had a drumline instructor that was telling you you were too young to know the newsies. I know the newsies. I know the Newsies. I used to watch that musical all the time. Isn't Christian Bale in that one? Wow. Holy cow. How did I know that? <laughs> I don't know crap. How did I know that? <laughs> the painting in the back with the purple looks so rad. That's our lava lamp painting. That one. It's the lava lamp painting. Do we want to listen to... I mean, we've listened to all the Kitaro. I don't have any more Kitaro. Do we just want native flutes, maybe? Do we want to chill out for a minute? Maybe. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to listen to Liquid Silk, Native Flutes, unless somebody wants to pick something different. This is what we're doing. <laughs> is he the lead? You just watched the Newsies last week. Don't they have like a live action one? Not live action, but like a theater one too? Like isn't it one that they do on like Broadway or whatever? Hi, Vivi. It was hip to be a square, not a square. Yeah, hip to be a square. Do, 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 do. I, I said it right, right? <laughs> You're loving the Broadway at HD streaming service? I'm not sure what the Broadway one is. I actually have a rain stick. Have you guys seen it? It's taller than me. It's freaking giant. I'm going to see if I can play it in this very small space. Hold on. Tiny space, giant rain stick, and a tiny person.
It's actually taller than me. <laughs> it's actually taller than me. It's actually five foot. It's actually five foot. It's actually five foot, which is taller than me, which tells you I'm a very short person. <laughs> Speak softly and carry a big stick, <laughs> a big rain stick, yeah. <laughs> you did tube spinning? Mm. I have one of those thunder tubes. You knew it was five foot. <laughs> yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. You ain't short, you're fun sized. Yeah, that's true. It is more fun to be small. Yeah, they are pretty expensive, Gilfnoid. They are. Um, so the next meditation video that I'm putting up on YouTube is gonna be, I've been doing a lot of fire recently, like fire themes. So the next one's gonna be water. So that rain stick will be in there. I'm gonna see how it works though. <laughs> that rain stick's gonna be in there though. She turns it every morning. She turns the rain stick every morning on. <laughs> I love that so much. Mm -hmm. It is very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's super cool. You must eat rice and tofu, Gilfnoid? <laughs> I mean, if you feel like you need to, yeah. You accidentally mixed into the wrong brown earlier when I painted and it actually looks much ni nicer than the original. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, because my palette has, my palette constantly has colors on it. So some of them are dry and some of them are wet. Some of them I think I've, I can still use, but I can't because it's dried already. So sometimes what happens is I'll end up having another color on my brush than what I expected because I'll go to make a new color, but another color was already there. But I can't tell the difference because there's always color on my palettes. So sometimes it makes really interesting colors and it ends up working in my favor sometimes. Your mom grew up in a place where it rained over 200 days a year, so she kind of misses it from her childhood. Aww, that's so sweet. Bronco, I like that. I really do like the rain. The rain is a very calm, soothing, just like cuddly sound. It makes me just want to cuddle. Mm. Go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Never frown with a golden brown, Roger. <laughs> I don't think you should frown. You should try not to frown anyway. But, yeah. Golden brown definitely can't hurt you.
You wish it rained a lot there, Strawberry? Do you? Where are you from, hun? I mean, it rains a bit. We get a bit of everything here, honestly, where I'm at. It gets really hot, it gets really cold. We get, we get all the seasons in a very, in a very particular way. Like, it feels normal. Like what you would expect the season to be, it, it actually is. It's, it's actually kind of nice. You get a, you get a bit of everything. Summers get real hot. Fall is in the middle. Winter gets super cold and snowy. Everything just kind of feels like you would expect it to be. And it is nice. It is nice to experience. It is nice to experience all the seasons. You don't care much about rain, you just want thunder and lightning. Oh yeah. I love that stuff. I do have a thunder stick too. Do you wanna see the do you wanna see the thunder tube? I told you guys I was a shaman. I told you guys I was a shaman. <laughs> Master of the elements. <laughs> it's so cool. Whoa. Yeah, they're really neat. That one's a tiny one. So that one's going to be that one's going to be in the uh, in the one of the meditations too. Yeah, so I got all these instruments to help with um, YouTube. So when I went, when I decided I was gonna buy myself something for my birthday, that's what I did. I got stuff for YouTube, honestly, <laughs> in my meditation videos. It is really awesome. You can make it sound different depending on how you use it too. Like it's really cool. It's really cool. I like to put my hand kind of like over it and like cup it. Cause it kind of sounds like, like um, deep rumbles like in a cave somewhere. It's really cool. I wish it didn't have as much of the metal sound. Like if you really tune into it, it has more of a metallic sound than I would really like, but I'm okay with it. It's still really awesome. I'm just really picky. <laughs> it's still really awesome though. <laughs> Swag, thank you for your subscription to YouTube, hun. I do lots of, um, like sleep tank drum 
meditations over on YouTube. The range of tones you can make with it. Yeah, you can make a pretty large range, yeah. It is kind of fun because sometimes you can see me just sit there in my chair and play the tank drum. Or like, just kind of talk to you. Which the other one, the most recent video I did was just me talking. And I wasn't really planning on that. Like having you guys just see me do it, but I was like, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? This is me. Enjoy the content. you just get kind of, uh, you just get kind of judgmental about what you're doing. Sometimes. And your brain's like, no, you shouldn't do this because blah, 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 blah. Whatever excuse your brain wants to give you. To not do things that you want to do. <laughs> you willed it masterfully like the clouds. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and thank you for the follow. Sean, I appreciate you. Yeah, I know. I make lots of weird noises. I know. I'm aware. Make you feel like you're in a fantasy world. It should. So then when are we doing a weird noises competition? Um, every stream? I mean, I would, okay, let's be honest. I would win because I can't hear you guys. Come on. I would automatically win because I can't hear you. <laughs> and nobody else can hear you either. I'm I am the winner by default. Yes, Lady Luna Star wins by default win. Unless you guys were to call in using ear. <laughs> unless you were to call in unless you were to call in through ear. I mean, we've even seen me make some really weird faces, too. We've seen me make some really weird faces. <laughs> hmm. So many good vibes in here. You just love it, Happy. I'm so glad you do. So congratulations to everyone. We all win the Weird Noises competition. <laughs> yes. Everything comes back to the tree falling in the forest, or does it? I know where you're going. I know where you're going. Does it mean that it actually fell if no one was there to witness it? Or hear it, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. I 
I always said in the fantasy world I would be the... I would be like a, a healer, painter, in a hut. In the fantasy world, I would be in a hut in the forest. And you would just walk by and... You'd like jump through my healing portals in the paintings. That's what would happen. An El yeah, it was Elder Scrolls Oblivion where there was that um, the painter quest where he had the magic paintbrush that would create portals in his paintings and you like go into it and you had to fight the trolls and then you had to fight you had to fight him because he went crazy did you have to fight him because he went crazy spoiler alert I think you did. And then you kind of jogged him back to his normal self. And then you could leave. It's kind of like that. Maybe I am crazy and you would have to fight me. <laughs> Who knows? It has yet to be confirmed. happier as a crazy person, that's for sure. That's really all that matters. I'm much happier as a crazy person. Much happier. Spoiler alert after the spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I tried. I still tried. I still tried. <laughs> I'm the village crazy lady. It's my job. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you assume that I've seen Moana? I have not actually, Pumpkin, but I've been told that I would enjoy it, and I feel like it would be up my alley, but I haven't watched it yet, no. Hey Hollywood, welcome back. Only painting today? Mm -mm. You can use channel points today if you want a reading, but nobody's, nobody's quite done that quite yet. Oh, is that what the quote's from? <laughs> nice. I'm much happier being the crazy lady, though, for sure. Much happier. It's fantastic. Definitely go check it out. Aww. Yeah, it's on my list. It's on my list of things to watch. I just haven't watched it yet. I thought it would be good though. Definitely something to enjoy. They really are, aren't they? 
they are really nice birds. It's like zoning me out. It's like, it's almost like Zen. I'm in Zen mode right now almost. I feel the birds like pulling me away. It's like sending me off somewhere else. <laughs> Basically the grandma is kind of nuts. And obviously is also full of wisdom and happiness. Aww. I like grandma. You are making a lot of progress on your painting. I'm glad, Under. I'm glad. It feels good, doesn't it? It's really calming for a, for focus. It is. Hi, Gilded Witch. Hi. Welcome into the treehouse, sweetie. How are you? <laughs> it is kind of really focusing, isn't it? You're doing well. Yay. We're just hanging out today. It feels good to make progress instead of burning out. Yeah, sometimes you burn out because you're just judging too much. Instead of just enjoying what you're doing. You like the one orb in the tree knot hole? This one, you mean? Or you mean, which one? This one has a shield around it. This one has a grid. You can see its energy grid. This planet has a shield around it. You can see its energy shield grid. <laughs> and this one's this one's got this one's got one too. But it doesn't have a grid. This one has one too. But it doesn't have a grid. in the middle of the tree just before the branches start. Oh, this one? <laughs> this is where I stay. This is where I stay. All of you get your own little tree pods. <laughs> but I stay in this one. We already decided that. So I claim this location already. <laughs> you can't take it from me. <laughs> hmm. You judge yourself so harsh, more than you judge others. You're your best critic, Ender. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes it makes it hard to uh It makes it hard to just be okay with just enjoying what you're doing. Dibs on the top pod. Mm. <laughs> Living the vida, okay. <laughs> yeah, Roger. It kind of is like Endor, isn't it? It is kind of like Endor. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting. You've already claimed the top of the rainbow up here? Yep. This one I did put gold leaf in. I don't know if you can see. You might not be able to see it very well. But like the rainbow has gold leaf on it. You just can't see. The lighting in here doesn't help. At the moment, oh, let me turn my light off. Hold on, hold on, you'll see. Let me turn this light off. It's like 3 p.m. It's like almost 4 p.m. And this is how dark it gets in my room. You might be you might be able to see it now. See that extra shine and sheen? It's 
because I put gold fleck over the rainbow. I also put it in the, um, so yeah, sometimes the light, because it's acrylic, sometimes the light has like weird reflections, especially in the camera. So like a lot of stuff you can't see because the light is just kind of washing it out. There's really nothing I can do about that, unfortunately, except for turn off some more lights. The more lights are off, the less it does it, but that also means you can't see some things as well. It's like this weird, you just kind of have to deal with it. It's like this weird thing that you just have to deal with. Yeah, there's actually, I mean, if you saw it in person, you would see a lot more detail. Like the trunk. And we even, even this is faded because I have lights back here behind us that are shining on it. So it still fades it a bit. But you can still see much better than what you could if, but the further away, the harder it is to see because the more the painting absorbs the light from just around the room in general and how it's bouncing around. You need your lights on, Ender, around 3 p.m. now. <laughs> yeah, yep. Everybody wants to be up high and you're like, I'll be in the roots. You're gonna be down here. You're gonna be my, are you gonna be my doorkeeper? Do you want a little hut? Um, you want a little hut on the forest floor? Should we put some huts on the floor, forest floor? Is that what you're telling me you want? I can put one in really quick. It wouldn't take long. <laughs> you want a little hobbit hole? <laughs> mm, it does bring out the goal. The, the glow, mm hmm We could put it right here. Or where would we want it? Where would we want a hobbit hole? Maybe in between these two trees? Maybe in between these two? I'm thinking really hard, clearly. It's gonna need to be kind of a, um, no, we can make it a little bit of a green color. point in time I need m more paint less water I need this to be more solid and less translucent so that's what I'm gonna do we're just gonna put a more paint and less water to make this stand on top of what's already here This is going to take some time because I have lots of layers to paint on top of this. So I'm just going to put the idea of it there 
and we'll let it dry for a minute. You didn't mean to make me change the painting. You didn't make me do anything. <laughs> you didn't make me do anything. I'm very, I'm a very go with the flow painter. You're just not a fan of heights. And your tree reminded me that one we used to have in our backyard had a at a different house. Oh, did it? Really? Hmm. You still love finding little gaps in the roots to hide in. Increasing. Aw, oh, that's so cute. I like it. I do like it. Almost like a little, um, what? Beavers use wood for their... I mean, lots of creatures, not just beavers, use wood for their houses, but... Kind of reminds me of a beaver. Oh, I know why I'm thinking of beaver. Because it was beaver moon. Last week was beaver moon. In Gemini. <laughs> I don't I don't need to change the painting, Stefan, but could we scrap the tree idea and replace it with 40 robots? <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We can handle that. <laughs> you were Naomi. It's all right. Hi, Creed. Should only take a tiny adjustment. I mean, it wouldn't take me long. All I have to do is paint like a silver robot on top of... I mean, you want me to do 40 robots, so that's quite a lot. <laughs> Just pop out the right... <laughs> the white spray paint, yeah. White robots. <laughs> Technically, I could make them silver figures, and they could be interpreted as robots. And I could just do 40 of them super quick. You might be surprised. I could actually make that work. <laughs> it's gotta be 40 robots exactly. Sorry, I don't make the rule. I don't make the rules. Yeah, maybe they're invisible robots. You know, like the predator. That you can't see the predator until he wants to be seen. Maybe it's like that. You have to look really hard. <laughs> I have actually seen Predator. I've actually seen Predator. <laughs> Interpretation can be the best thing about art, in my opinion. Oh yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> Nanobots? <laughs> yeah, they're so small you can't see them. There are actually little tiny specks of light in the painting. You can't see it right now because it's so small. You want to count them and see if there's 40 of them. <laughs> and we can just say, <laughs> you can just say, we could just say that those specks of light are the, are the robots. The little tiny yellow ones right here. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you can't see the predator. That's kind of his whole thing. Mm -hmm. But you did eventually see him at the end. <laughs> Only one robot, robot on your arm, though? Pumpkin? Robo bees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three fake robots then. Maybe. You already checked. You were about to type 43. You already counted? What? Have you already counted that? No way. You can see those from here? Can you really see them from there? I don't think you can. Well, not if your head's in the way. I don't, 
I don't, I can't see it. I'm impressed if you can see those. I'm impressed. The bowl hits the right spot. <laughs> it really does, yeah. Yeah, since we both said 43, you can't argue over 43. <laughs> One, okay, now I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. If I wanted to do all of them, it was 38 just yellow in the trees. But if we add these, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Is that what you did? <laughs> that would make sense if you counted the ones around here too. That's 43. And I am, I am impressed. <laughs> I am freaking impressed with you people. <laughs> How the heck? My mind is, my mind is blown. I don't know how you guys saw that. <laughs> Cause even, even I, I'm actually in the room with it and I'm like, I'm having a hard time finding them. <laughs> don't ask how. It's just a lucky guess. <laughs> Hi, Wheel. Welcome back, hun. How are you doing? <laughs> you can barely see yourself in the mirror, Ender. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. How the heck did you all manage to do that? I'm just impressed. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take it as fact. And we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to roll with it. <laughs> just to accept the answer. Oh, I am. <laughs> You're back too. Hi, Teller. Welcome back. We're, f we're trying to get 40 official robots added to the painting. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the robots can be, um... How do I want to say this? Hi, Copper Pea! Maybe the robots can be, like, on a spaceship. Would that count? Or do you want to visually see 40 robots? <laughs> or are you looking to... You'd expect... You would accept spaceship robots. Okay. Just check. Just checking. Because I got plenty of open space up here. That would be acceptable. It's their own planet. They don't need a spaceship. <laughs> Okay, well then they better have this one, with the grid on it. Maybe this is where the spacemen live, the space robots. Where they just, they just have a grid around their, they have a shield grid around their planet. <laughs> Not only is it like a ley line grid, but it's part of their shield. Cybermen, yeah, great. Sometimes you just want to joyride. <laughs> I've never been one of those people. I've never been one of those people who wants to joyride. Mm -mm. It's never been my experience. <laughs> Make them a stairway around the main tree. Oh, you mean like on the outside? Interesting. 
interesting. For the robots? <laughs> We know they're gonna come visit. <laughs> we know they're gonna come visit. We might as well make plans for them. Oh gosh. You guys are too much fun. <laughs> you guys are too much fun. Oh. I'm just making this little hobbit hole right here. I'm just painting it really quick. Really nice dark green layers. Blah. Try not to get it on my chair. We'll see what happens. They have to walk down the tree? I feel like they'd have to like come in through here. This is the entrance. We have elevators. We're sophisticated. We call joyriding going for a trip up here. Do you really, Stefan? You are reading my mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, Adam. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. I'm glad to have you. <laughs> mm. You walk robots. That kind of what it. That's kind of what it feels like, doesn't it? Nobody knows really what's going on. <laughs> We're just... The painting itself is a joyride, Stefan. The painting itself is a joyride. Because we're just kind of going on a trip. We have no clue where we're going. Nor do we really care. A rip. So go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go with the flow. Makes it easier. Makes it way easier to just have fun. Joyride to the stars. It kind of feels like it. It does kind of feel like it. Mm. It's so cool. You practiced what I taught you the other day to grab a paper and just let the flow go. It's so cool. It really is, isn't it? It's amazing what you'll create without even like like judging it like you'll just flow and then you'll be like oh wow actually that wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be <laughs> hey frisbee hound welcome back and how are you <laughs> it is kind of intimidating though I will I understand it being intimidating you know Made out of a long, shallow bone? With some ink? Oh, you had a special... Oh, you had a special... Oh. And gloss paper? Wow, you didn't... You didn't hold back, did you? I was gonna say, it sounds like a calligraphy pen. I wanted to learn calligraphy when I was young. Actually, my mom had gotten me a calligraphy set.
My mom had gotten me a calligraphy set. You wrote about a hundred pages in a few days. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kind of lightening up a little bit of this. I'm putting some space dust in through here where it kind of just like floats. So I am using a bit of a highlighter a lighter uh, pink color to kind of bring some highlights out. It's supposed to be subtle. It's supposed to be a subtle, slow transition. So it's going to be, you won't notice it straight away. Oh yeah, you mean like, it is nice to use your creativity to let out some of that stuff you don't need. Yeah. Like channel it out into your creativity. Mm -hmm. It's much more, it's healthier that way for you. Which is something that I talk about doing a lot in my um, painting course that we do on Patreon. We talk about channeling out all, this, all the crap you feel and don't need and just kind of getting rid of it into what you're working on and creating. Like channeling it out of you, <laughs> basically, is what we're talking about. You can see the dust showing up a bit more. It just breaks up some of that dark background a bit more. Calcor, welcome back, hon. How are you feeling? Nice beanie. Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty fun. girl ever thank you do we like do we like our our because it's gold fleck too so now this part is going to shine as well this part of the galaxy oh there it goes yeah 
Look at that. Freaking sweet. Look. I can get it to reflect just right with this angle. Looks pretty cool. So it highlights differently depending on where the light source is. And I put a little bit over on the side too, the edge. And we'll dance a little bit in here. It's turning out amazing. Thank you. Fan J, welcome in, hun. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. it around in their space. <laughs> oh, is that the name? Stefan? Is that the name? Thank you for sharing, helping. <laughs> helping. It's adding light to our background without getting too crazy. like a holographic painting yeah obviously bedtime <laughs> hey welcome to the treehouse <laughs> thank you for the raid <laughs> i appreciate you i am lady linastar i'm doing a spacey tree uh painting we're putting in i guess yeah holographic uh metallic paint into our galaxy sky. It's looking pretty sweet. Welcome to the treehouse, guys. Glad to have you. <laughs> and thank you for the follow. How is how did your stream go? Obviously bedtime. What do you do? Tell us about you and what you do. Thank you for bringing your friends. Thank you for bringing your friends. I do intuitive painting. Which means, um, uh, I don't have any idea what we're doing. Which can, uh, which can be nerve-wracking, but also pretty exciting. It can be nerve-wracking, but pretty exciting at the same time. Because you never know what we're gonna do. It wasn't letting you chat first. That's all right, obvious. Mary, welcome to the treehouse, dear. 
Yeah, did you have to watch a commercial? It's alright. It happens. Commercials happen. No big deal. You can still have some time, though. I'm just smushing with my finger the paint, too. So we don't have a defined brush stroke. Especially with like soft galaxy. I don't want I don't want a brush stroke. I don't want people to tell what I did. I don't want people to see what I did with my brush. I want it to be a mystery. They'd be like, there's just like this blotch here. Yeah, I used my finger. And they're gonna be like, what? You did what? You used your finger? On a painting? On canvas? Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> you thought the painting looked interesting in the preview? We are, we took a break from another one that we're working on. It's beautiful, thank you, Mary. You just finished your story and everyone wanted to see some art. Are you writing a story? Bedtime? <gasps> do you do bedtime stories? Sorry, I'm like really excited now. Hold on, sorry, that's not what I meant to show you. I meant to show you this. No, not that. This. Get your get your act together. Come on now. Hi, Delcy. Welcome back, hon. Glad to have you. So we were working on another painting. Um, I have this one. Sorry, this one. This one was a commission that I that I have on there, and they wanted a sister painting for this for this next one. I took a break. This one is not a commission. They're not related. These are not related. But this one next to me was a commission piece, and they wanted another commission. So we started working on the piece that would be kind of next to this one. So here, let me move this. So it's kind of meant to be kind of like this, like a continuation of the painting. <laughs> anyway, that's what it's supposed to do. So that's what we were working on earlier. We were just getting basic ideas down for that. Um, but I took a break to let that one dry so that we could come to this one. So this is one that we've been working on for a while. The fox looks so good. Thank you, Ham Nick. <laughs> obviously you read bedtime stories. I'm freaking following you, obviously bedtime. I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna give you a freaking follow. I love bedtime stories. I used to do um, dream meditations where I would do like, um, I'd read you guys like a little meditation from, actually I have, I have books still here somewhere. Yeah, these, I'll show you the books. Um, let me go to your page. Because I'm all about that. I'm all about that. So if you, if you want, if you want stories, bedtime stories, do you, st you stream at night maybe? Yeah, there's Gentle Fox ASMR who does bedtime stories kind of too, and it's lovely. <laughs> but we used to do um, dream meditations, and now I do meditations on YouTube. But we used to do dream meditations from these books. They're, they're technically little mini visualizations that you would be led and guided into. Yeah, gentle box ASMR. Mm -hmm. But these ones, Star Bright and Moonbeam, are the ones that I used to read. 
And you can go to, you can go to, I think I've saved most of them on Twitch. So if you want to see those, you can. We turn off the lights and it looks like a dreamy fairy tale. And then I, I would walk you guys through the meditation visualization and we would say goodnight. And then I would, I would raid a ASMR channel so you guys could stay asleep. <laughs> That's what I used to do. But we haven't done a, we haven't done that for a long time. We've been mostly doing uh, card readings. That's what we've mostly been doing. But it's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Do you use kinetic sand art? Do you really? There's a sand artist I know too. A sand experiment. I've been around. For, I've been around for a minute. <laughs> I've been around for a minute, but not super long. So there's people I don't know about for sure. I've been doing. I've been doing intuitive art on Twitch now for. Oh gosh. A year and a half? A year and a half? You think it's a cat tree? Yeah, this is a cat tree. Yes. I used to have my kitty. Hmm. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's a cat tree, Hamnick. Yeah. When my kitty was here, she would sleep up here, but she passed away. And I haven't got rid of the cat tree because I really want another cat, but I'm not ready yet. So we still have the cat tree. We still have the cat tree. I'm just not ready yet. same time because I kind of knew she wasn't doing well so it's kind of like what else are you gonna do it's kind of like what else are you gonna do hmm yeah she was a sweet one she's our dream our little dream warrior She would sit on my lap when somebody had a card reading. A card reading that was a little hard to handle. She would sit on she would sit on my lap. Wanna she'd wanna offer some extra love and support. <laughs> she was so sweet. Mm -hmm. And she would sit on our lap while we painted. And she would watch me with my brush, thinking she could, she could play with the brush. She reached for it. So cute. She was a good one. Hey, Jawel, welcome back, dear. And Sneaky Flow, uh, welcome to the treehouse, dear. You like the flute in the background? Mm hmm We listen to really chill music. Unless Kitara was on. Then, then we listened to all kinds of craziness. Mm. At least she was loved. Oh yeah, she was. Oh yeah, she was. There's no doubt about that at all. There's no doubt about that at all. She never got in trouble. 
She never got yelled at. She did as she pleased. She was allowed to go outside. She went outside with supervision. We would nap. I would actually paint outside and she would be outside with me. And the neighbors would be so surprised that my cat was so well behaved. They're like, she just sits in that chair and watches you? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's why I got the chair. I got the chair for her. loved it. <laughs> Pets are adorable. They really are, yeah. Yeah, most pets behave the way the owner behaves. She was really, she was really calm. I didn't really have much, I didn't really have to worry about her very often. The only time I had to like really watch her was when there was a squirrel. I had to watch her when there was a squirrel. I didn't want her to actually catch anything. So I had to watch her really closely when there was a squirrel outside. She was curious. She almost got one, but I interfered. She was like, what are you doing? I almost had it and you interfered. And it's like running up the downspout. She was not very happy with me for a minute. She got over it. She got over it. <laughs> Hugs for Lady Lunastar. Thank you, Chawel. You're so sweet. Imagine being your pet and not behaving. Hmm. I don't know. I'm really chill. Like, it's stuff that would normally make people upset about pets don't really make me that upset. I don't know why. You think fishes are the best pets? They kind of, they're, I did like my fish. I had one fish when I was young. This is gonna age me too. I had one fish when I was young. Baby Luna, baby Luna. And um, it was a, it was a rainbow goldfish. You guys know, you guys know what that looks like? It's like a rainbow goldfish basically. And I named her it was a, I named it Paprika Spice, after a Spice Girl. <laughs> after the Spice Girls, I named her Paprika Spice. And I would feed her, and I would actually feed her, and when she came up to the water to eat, I would actually pet her with my finger. I would be like, you're such a good little fish. Aww. And I'd pet her with my finger. She was very nervous about it at first, but then she was okay with it. With with the scales, not against the scales, with the scales. Real gentle like. And she got her she would get her bowl cleaned all the time and It was only pet petting time when she was eating though. Just for a minute. <laughs> They're so fancy looking. Mm. You weren't allowed to have pets, Jay Well, that's kinda sad. Yeah, I never really knocked on the bowl. No, I never really knocked on the bowl. I would like wave with my finger, but I wouldn't actually touch the bowl. But when it was time to eat, I would do give a little pet. <laughs> and she eventually got used to it. She was like, oh, okay, this is just what we do. And she was fine. The first couple times, though, she was like, F, what are you doing? <laughs> what the F? What are you doing? Why do you want to touch me? Are you going to take me out of the water? Why? <laughs> yeah, my sister, my sister has a dog. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a dog. Yeah, it's, yeah, she's got a dog. You never had many friends either as a kid, Jaywall. Mm, that's all right. 
makes you enjoy time with yourself, right? Thank you, Flab Flab, for your subscription, hun. Hello, Luna. Hi. You didn't go on vacations either. It was a rare occasion going on vacation. You better quit before you get depressed. You won't get depressed. You have all the opportunities at your fingertips now for your own life to be created just in the way you want to create it. The wrong emoji. It's alright. Hi, Elkazar. Welcome back. You're 61 days sober, Jawel. That's awesome. Congratulations, hun. You like my hair? Did I recently change it up? Look how short it is. Flat, flat. Look how short it is. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Let's go! Mm -hmm. It's something to be proud about. It's something to be proud of, for sure. <laughs> Luna's hair is too too damn nice for real. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are you related to Bob Ross? Um No, not actually. Not 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 that I'm aware of. However, we are both Scorpios. We both have a very similar philosophy with painting. Although I don't really do landscapes, I do like magical stuff, like fantasy stuff. Um, we actually, I went to school, I went to school where he used to live and I didn't even realize it. Um, there's quite a few similarities. I think I would get an Afro perm wig. Yeah. Or maybe not even a wig. I think I could probably handle an Afro. How did you know Bob Ross was a Scorpio? I think I looked it up once. I think his birthday's like... I think it's like the 18th? No, that would be... The 18th would be... Would be Libra. Hold on. I would like it was... Yeah, 29th, actually. Yeah, Bob Ross's birthday, October 29th. That's a Scorpio. That's a Scorpio. We're in sync. Mm -hmm. You hardly ever use the word similar. You have similar energy. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> You'll watch a Bob Ross episode to just kind of chill out. Yeah, I used to watch, I watched when I was older. I didn't watch when I was young. Like when Bob Ross was actually live on TV, I don't recall actually watching it. I recall watching like afterwards. Um, but yeah, I always remember thinking, it would be so cool to be Bob Ross. <laughs> like when I was a kid, I remember thinking it. I'm like, so does his paint and like tells you what he's doing. And like, you just watch him and you get to hang out with him and you get to listen to his stories and that'd be so cool. I want to be like Bob Ross. I want to be like Bob Ross. And here we are. Except I do a whole nother side of things too. Bob Ross really was a good... His, his uh, content, if you want to call it content, is very accurate to like streaming. Like it's perfect for streaming. <laughs> it's perfect for streaming. It's too bad, it's a little sad you can't like talk to Bob Ross though. Cause that's the part of streaming that I think is the most beautiful is the conversation that you can have. Ooh, 
Which is honestly the only reason why I don't do like, like artsy YouTube videos. Because I'm like, I don't really want to do that. Like, I'm, I don't know. I'm just like, I'd rather have a conversation with you guys than like upload a YouTube video where it's just me. I'm like, here, watch this video and don't, don't come hang out with me. And just watch the video. I don't know why. That's just me though. That's how I feel about it. There's a channel that used to stream his episodes. I think it's still there, Hamnick, yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross is a first class real Jedi. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> a more wise, wholesome version of Bob Ross. I don't know about that. Bob Ross is wise, isn't in his own way. <laughs> used to watch his translated episodes? Hmm. You need to try and get some much needed sleep. Good night, Alcazar, hun. Sweet dreams. Rest well. Mwah. <laughs> You're gonna call me Luna Ross? Just call me Luna Star. <laughs> Just call me Luna Star. Because I'm really my own thing. Or if you wanted to do that, just just be like new age, hashtag new age Bob Ross. That's the one I've been growing on my Instagram for like a long time now. I've been trying to grow the hashtag new age Bob Ross like a lot. So if you want to help, use that. Use that on all my stuff. And you comment hashtag new age Bob Ross. That's what will, that's what will get us where we're going. Cause that's really kind of, that's really kind of what it feels like. Hmm. <laughs> Engaging is you. That's the reason you need interaction must be. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Is it true he was a Jill sergeant in the army that blew my mind? I think so, yeah. It's also why he stayed in Alaska for so long. I think he, he loved Alaska the most, from what I remember. Bless you, beautiful soul, Luna Star. Thank you so much, Jawa. Hey, Lion Legend. Welcome to the treehouse, dear. Hi, crazy bro. Welcome back. I've been using the hashtag, hashtag New Age Bob Ross since I started streaming. It hasn't caught on yet, but I'm holding out. I'm holding out. <laughs> coming here is a bit like coming home. Aw, oh, crazy bro, that's so sweet. You're doing fine, thanks for asking, of course. <laughs> Pleasant dreams? Did obviously bedtime say they're going home? Oh, good night. Yeah, good night, obviously bedtime. Sweet dreams, dear. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the third time you had to reprint? Repaint the brown? You forgot some paint. I'm so glad it turned out lovely though, Ender, dear. How's the treehouse doing? We're doing really well today. We've we've been feeling pretty good, honestly. All things considered. We've been feeling really good. Getting a lot of painting done. We started, uh, I have a new commission that we started on. Yeah, we are just chilling. We did listen to some Kitaro and we were quite high energy with it. We did a card reading. We did a card reading for um, our friend Fairy Frequency, who raided us last night with like her big giant family. We did a card reading for her today since she missed the opportunity last night. Um, I haven't done any other card readings today. You guys just must want to chill or you don't have enough points. It's, maybe that's it. Did I ever think about doing an exposition of my works in the future? Yeah, that's definitely on the list. I've tried to find people who are do like online exhibits. Has been my main focus recently. Like people who have online exhibits. And I would like to. It would be nice to do that. It would be a lot of fun. I've been looking into um, working for a gallery as well. Just kind of waiting for the right opportunity. I'm not really in a rush. I'm enjoying where I'm at, honestly, so I'm not really in a rush. You don't have enough points under. <laughs> really? <laughs> you s is this my studio at home? Yeah, Joelle. Mm -hmm. So I, I did have my own studio room. Like I had my own room like back in the day. It w we were in the attic of the house. But I ended up moving. I'm moving in with different roommates. And now I just have a bedroom. So everything's kind of shoved into a bedroom right now which is why there's like so much stuff like you can't see but behind us is actually my bed where i sleep i sleep right here wait you can't see it because the canvas is in the way you have sixty-one thousand points crazy bro Ooh, you're gonna be able to redeem a, a, a mini painting It looks really cozy. I do like really cozy spaces. Yeah. I like everything to feel warm and cozy and fun and full. I like the full feeling, but I like small spaces. I like full small spaces, but not like full chaos, even though sometimes this does feel a little bit chaotic. <laughs> It's beautiful chaos. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. You switched to Enigma after Kitaro back in the day when you were experiencing music and artist, Tamnik? Enigma? I don't know if I've ever listened to Enigma. Do they have the same vibe? You're unsure what to get a reading on? Mm. If you're unsure, yeah, it's best not to. We'll do a rune pull for Timidly, though. <laughs> Enigma is live. What is Enigma? 
Or do they have a, I'm assuming they have a similar vibe, like a similar feeling. It's a music project based out of Austria. Really? I probably would like them then. I probably would like them for sure. You're happy single or lucky in love? I'm happy either way. I'm happy either way. <laughs> Is it the stuff with the chanting, Satankmo? I don't know. Do they have chanting? They're one of the most known projects in the new ages kind of genre. Okay, I definitely need to look at Enigma then. Uh, do you have... Timidly, do you have a area of life chosen out for your uh, room? Or do you just want to see what the book says? You mean at the moment? What the book says? Okay. Oh, I know what you meant. Don't think I didn't know what you meant, Joelle. Don't think I didn't know what you meant. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we'll grab a rune for Timidly Witchy. Mm, this one. This one, this one. The one that I just pulled out. Try the We Are Nature by Enigma. Here's the rune. We'll see if it'll zoom in enough, this camera. It's like the Y symbol in Back to the Future. <laughs> What's up with all my pop culture references today? Can you see it? It's like the Y symbol for his Back to the Future. There it goes. What was it? 1.81 gigawatts or something. I can't remember. I can't remember. Don't hate me. I can't remember. It's been a long time. <laughs> the flux capacitor. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is that a rune symbol? Yes. A spider it is. Mm -hmm. You pulled it yesterday? Did you really? Freaking heck. It's 1.2 gigawatt. Thank you, spider. So I'll flip in my book here. See what it says. I don't know if I've ever actually pulled this one out before. So we'll see what it says. We'll see what it says. I'll read. I'll read from the book. All right, timidly. Hopefully this makes sense. It signifies a fortunate new influence entering your life. So I'm reading the rune. I'm meaning the reading the I'm reading the meaning of the rune that we just drew for Timidly. All right, you guys ready to learn? All right, class, put your put your work down. <laughs> Pay attention to the teacher eyes on the teacher eyes up from your books your paintings whatever so this rune is this one the book calls it something different i don't know why it calls it something different every time but this one says eel and this says it signifies signif signifies blah, 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 a fortunate new influence entering your life often through your unconscious emotions or instincts what's the book the runes so this could your so unconscious emotions and instincts are influencing these new things it could be a new career opportunity or a course of study 
This rune is a rune of friendship. And it often shows a new relationship coming to you with someone who is outgoing, generous, and fun to be around. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong protective rune. So those of you who are saying, is it a rune of protection? Yeah, it is. You're right. So it's a protective rune. Its appearance usually indicates that you will be protected from misfortune. Um, this does say if harm does come around to visit you, um, you will receive a very strong premonition about the trouble. And this premonition will aid you in avoiding it or handling problems that may arise. Feel free to use this in feel free to use your intuition at this time. But this rune is a very beneficial rune. Thank you for following Vikaba. It's your other account. King. Aw, thank you. You're a sentence behind. Repeat, please. Um, it's a very beneficial rune. Don't, um, the rune was saying, don't, um, any trouble that you come across in life, you're gonna know how to handle. That's what her rune said. So you might get a premonition, like you might have insight beforehand that trouble is coming, and therefore you'll be more prepared saying don't worry you'll be prepared <laughs> don't worry you'll be prepared <sighs> yeah you're not supposed to focus on it timidly <laughs> with love but yeah yeah trust your gut mm -hmm. i'm glad to have you book a bell welcome back but what if I want to meet Miss Fortune? She sounds lovely. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> I freaking love you guys so much. I'm sure she is a lovely person. <laughs> what I'm getting from, from Latorio is just, you know what, I'll meet anybody at this point. <laughs> You're welcome, Timidly, hun. You're welcome. Wow. Mmm. That. You guys tickle my funny bone every day. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Thank you for being such a lovely, beautiful people. <laughs> you don't switch to the other name, so it's less confusing. No, that's alright. That doesn't bother me. You had your fair share of time with her, misfortune, but you didn't get any wiser. She didn't make you wiser at all. That's a shame. Did she turn did she make your heart cold? <laughs> hey sushi lover. Glad to have you back. The chat is life. Love you more. No, I love you more. You can't win this one. Just like you can't win who makes the most outrageous noises. <laughs> We're seeing other people now. I'm sure you are. Your last name is Well Fortune, so don't go too far on the fortune jokes or else. would be well fortune hamnick your last name would would mean well fortune i'm not surprised i'm not surprised i'm not surprised oh. thank you ender for your host hon i appreciate you It's quite the obvious. <laughs> Heck no, I will win. 
I am competitive. Me too. Me too. Because you missed a few hours in between and holy crap. No, this is not the same painting. I'll show you. And this... So the one we... This is... Uh, we have a commission painting before. Over here? Cameras are hard. Over here. This is a commission piece. And we were asked to do a sister art piece to kind of continue the painting and the story on another canvas. So we kind of, we kind of mapped out. We kind of mapped out where everything's going. Does this make sense? Right. But I took a break from that one to let it dry. And then we came back to this one that we're working on now. That way it can kind of just chill for a minute. That way it can just chill for a minute. Good well fortune ending. That's interesting. Hey Omni, welcome to the treehouse, hon. It's gonna be great. I'm very excited. You see it now? You didn't get to see last time you showed it? Yeah, it's gonna like line up with each other. It's gonna line up. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Hello, good vibes here, OMG. Hey, Omni. Yeah, we're doing a galaxy painting right now for the treehouse. This is watercolor and acrylic together. I also have gold fleck paint. So our galaxy has kind of like this golden sheen to it. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about putting just stars in right now. Good vibes only. Good vines only. Good vines in the treehouse. And maybe we should put some vines off the side. <laughs> what you looking for, Jayla? I should have, um, I should really put them all in the same line, but I don't. They're not all in the same line. You have to type out which one you want. Sounds fine to you. Of course, Creed. It would be handy if I just put them all on one, though. I was looking at all my commands. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, Instagram, yeah. So you can do Insta. There you go. I'll have to put one. I'll have to put one for all of them, though. Eventually, down the road. You made a Minecraft tree house and a mush and a mushroom house. Mm. I find myself I find myself digging caves, like cave houses. I find myself digging cave houses in Minecraft or I will or I will build um a giant house on like the edge of a cliff. I like to do that a lot. <laughs> Must be magic. You're the 444th follower. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Living on the edge. Yeah, exactly, Delcy. Isn't that Aerosmith? On the edge. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> Steven Tyler, yeah. <laughs> you love building tree houses? Don't even tell me that, Omni. Do you... You mean in game? Please tell me you mean in game. Don't don't tell me you actually build tree houses in real life, because I will probably have to hunt you down. <laughs> I will have to hunt you down on all, all things. Yeah, in game. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait, you build tree houses? Hi, welcome to the tree house stream. Yes, I would like to live in a tree house. Can you help me build one? That was exactly where my mind was going. Yes, I love you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Welcome to the treehouse. <laughs> you can make one, but you live so far. Ah, That's all right. Maybe not forever, Hamnick. We don't know. We don't know what the future holds. I know where you're going, but we don't know what's going to happen to me. So maybe, maybe not forever. <laughs> all fours sounds like all the force, as in the Jedi. <laughs> the Jedi force of Bob Ross. Yeah, I'll make you one later. That's a Hamnet guarantee. Yay! All right, we're already we're already set. It's all right. We're already set. Good to go. It's gonna happen. You heard it here first. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. scream laughing. I know. <laughs> You're great with woodwork right now, Hamnick. <laughs> it's galactical. It's galactic magical. It is. Yeah. <laughs> that was low-key genius, isn't it? I was broken. I was broken for like two seconds. No, it was longer than two seconds. That was actually really funny. <laughs> you just now come up with that? Seriously? <laughs> You're half awake and you tried drinking paint water? <laughs> Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life, Ender. I can't tell you how many times I will look at my cup like three times to make sure it's actually a beverage and not my water. That's what I did. Uh, yeah, welcome to my life. <laughs> I've almost drank paint water before quite a few times. It was part of the risk. It's the risk that you take. <laughs> You're scared of your future, Omni? You're trying your best. You're doing the best you can, though. Why are you scared of your future, hun? It would go great on a t-shirt. That's true. It is kind of like a, a t-shirt kind of saying, isn't it? <laughs> it was really low-key genius. It may be a risk, but if that's the case, I'm scared of the reward. <laughs> we don't.
don't know what the reward would be. The reward is creating really awesome art. That's the reward. And maybe if you drink enough of the paint water, maybe you'll get to go on a trip too, but it probably wouldn't be a good one. <laughs> it probably wouldn't be a good one, especially if it's like, especially if it's like oil paint with like the turpentine. Oh God, no way, man. I had a hard time painting oil paint just in general because of the turpentine. Like I would get lightheaded. I don't know how people paint with oil paint really, honestly. I don't know how they do it. I had to be outside. Like I'm in, I'm in college doing oil paintings and like I had to be outside because like I couldn't even be in the building. I had to be outside because it was too much. It's too much. <laughs> they might like the buzz, maybe. I just got a headache. I couldn't handle it. They have Freud mugs and t-shirts with your mom printed on them below with Freud's face. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you were looking up this page called dope t-shirt ideas. If I told, and one of them said, if I told my therapist about you, Oh no, one of them said, I told my therapist about you. <laughs> I used to follow them on Facebook. Oh, so they had... Oh, okay, so one of the, It's kind of like a comedy thing. <laughs> All the oil paint would do would make you dizzy, Ender. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me, too. You've been having a lot of headaches recently. You'll have less if you eat more, timidly. Love you. You'll have less if you eat more. You came le late to the stream, Sam Jelena. That's okay. Mwah, I love you. Mwah. <laughs> you have to go to work later, so you've been sleeping. See you around. Goodbye, Angelina. Sweet dreams, son. <laughs> Get a patent on it. <laughs> Dang, called out. You're right, though. It's just hard. Hmm. You came up with a joke a few years ago. Oh my god, am I gonna start? Oh my gosh. Do I have the energy? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> a joke a few years ago, it was like... So the joke was... One of my imaginary friends told her therapist about me. <laughs> one of, wait, one of my imaginary friends told her therapist about me. <laughs> yeah, the paint for the air, the paint air dried and it's a little too dark. Yeah, it's gonna be an adjustment, Ender. Things always, it depends on the type of paint. Sometimes the paint dries in a lighter shade in here than you expected. Sometimes it dries darker. It, all paints act different. So brother, you'd like a, a tarot read one day? It's possible, yeah. Late stream today, we're going until six. Yeah, Naomi, we are, because I was an hour late showing up. I was an hour late showing up. That's why. <laughs> so we'll go until about six. Hey Devo, good to see you, hun. I have the weirdest sense of humor, don't judge me. Not judging you. It's clever. <laughs> You've been struggling with what to do with your life, Omni. Mm. Benef you want to benefit through your artwork and webcomic ideas? 
You even had prophetic dreams about it once upon a time. Aw. Like you you jumped timelines into the future. Been there. <laughs> you want to help people, giving them coping skills? Yeah. You think your goals are pretty high? It's, it's alright. It's good to shoot for this, for a high goal. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's something about not letting people feel alone. Which, if you are being honest about you and sharing your experience, you're already helping people not feel alone. You don't want to, but you're gonna eat some soup. Good, Tim and Lee, I'm glad. <laughs> your compromising is until six. What a nice Scorpio. I am nice. <laughs> Come on. I w Nobody would watch me if I was mean. If I was mean and nasty, if I was a mean, nasty Scorpio, nobody would watch me. They'd be like, I won't touch her with a ten-foot pole. She's toxic AF. She's toxic AF. People would know. People would know. I'm just putting in some little star pieces now. A toxic AF. <laughs> More like a five foot rain stick. I do have a five foot rain stick. The fact that you said, I am nice. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did kind of put a sass in there, didn't I? <laughs> I did put a little bit of sass in there. You are struggling to function today, flap flap. You're okay, hon. I'm glad you're feeling better, though. Mm. Fellowship is always good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not hostile, but if you mess with me, we'll sort you out. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> it's like a message I love to give. You're not alone and loved, etc. Omni, Omni, yeah, me too. Thank you, Ham Nick. <laughs> Take it easy, Luna. Love your face. Goodbye. Enter. You're in Aries, Omni? Can I pull off goth? I mean, sure, if I really wanted to. <laughs> it's now 11 11. Is it really? Oh, I missed it. It's nice to come here, Devo, and be with the open community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys. I used to have, I used to have black hair. So yeah, I've been the whole. I done the whole goth thing. I have, I have done the whole goth thing. And like the scene, I did the, I did the scene stuff too. A lot of, I got invited to a lot of parties when I had the scene hair. Even though I wasn't, I didn't like to go to parties. People are like, "Hey, you want to go to this party?" I'm like, "No." They're like, "You don't go to parties?" I'm like, "No." They're like, "Really? I thought you did." I'm like, "Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Because of my hair? No. That's dumb." Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been, I've been a bit of everything. <laughs> I actually live in America, yeah. Did we use ear a second time last night, Devo? No, we did not. But, they've reset the codes for me so you guys can use it again. So tomorrow we'll have people signed up. You do look like a bit of a party girl, to be frank. No. <laughs> it, I must be, yeah, the one quietly in the corner. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> the one who's like, man, am I going to have to babysit everybody? That's me. <laughs> 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 
You woke up a few hours ago. Hmm? Like riverboat cruises? Really, Gilfty? Hey, Finn5010, welcome back. Glad to have you. You're in Holland. Ever been to Holland? I actually haven't, no. I was close, but I never actually went over there. The quiet Zen painter, i.e. the party animal. <laughs> feel like a party. You'd be like, man, watching that chill painter. I don't know. That's my jam, man. Who knows? Who knows? Not something I ever explored. Painting on like the crazy scenery too. <laughs> You're in Minnesota, Omni. Ah. You're from the Netherlands too, Latoria. Really? I'm sure there's actually probably quite a lot of you. I know a lot of you are from the UK. I think they just updated their name, yeah. You've come across the stream like a side quest. <laughs> you like it. I'm glad you like it. It does kind of feel like a, a side quest. Mm -hmm. I was saying if, if I were going to be in a game, I would be like the healer painter in like the forest in a hut and you kind of just stop by the little witchy painter that's accurate and I teleport you into paintings Small but loud, yeah. <laughs> you have snow on the ground in Ohio. I ha uh, there, no, there's not snow today. I had to look out the window because it's been a few hours since I looked out the window. I had to look outside and make sure there really wasn't snow. <laughs> we need treehouse members from other continents too. We're missing a few, I think. Are we? I actually don't think so. It's the time for everybody to list where they're from. <laughs> yeah, and you'd have to collect herbs and mushrooms to complete the objective. Yeah. Latorio. Uh-huh. You always love the Ewoks. Mm -hmm. With a giant paintbrush weapon. A giant magical paintbrush weapon. Yeah. Yes. Imagine opening the window and it's spring and you've missed a whole season. I would, I don't really like winter, to tell you the truth. Winter's probably like my least favorite season. But you know what? I might actually like it now because I used to not like it. I used to not like it because you had to like drive in all the snow. And like where I'm from, like they don't care how high the snow is or how icy it is. Like you're going to work. <laughs> like you're going to go to work anyway. Like it doesn't matter. 
like like snow days are kind of rare. Yeah, that's true, Latorio. I do like going outside and looking at the stars. Yeah, I like that too. You think you saw a couple planets recently because of dusk? Really? Hmm. Devo's gonna be right back. Okay, Devo. You don't like spring because of allergies, Hamnick? I used to I used to feel the same way. I struggled with allergies and then I started taking I started having um honey. Like local wildflower honey. And that actually helped me. Like from the local bees, from the local bees, like in your area, within like the 40 to 50 mile radius. <laughs> your local bees can be your best friend. <laughs> Imagine, imagine looking out your window to see 40 robots. Oh my god. <laughs> Robot bees. <laughs> hey, Karna. Is it Karnon? Claw, welcome in, dear, to the treehouse. Glad to have you. <laughs> you like to open the window and find the moon? Aw. Yeah, I like the moon. back in and add some white stars too. But I just want to put this down and into the canvas. Oh, tobacco's the fascinating plant. Mm. It's the most insane plant on the planet. You can do a lot with it. got about, what, two hours? <laughs> I've never understood that, to tell you the truth. Actually, there's a bunch of plants. Mm, yeah, there are. There are. I'm gonna, 
I'm putting some a bit of stars over top of the rainbow to kind of push the rainbow into the background a bit. That's what we're doing. Just kind of pushing things around. Then it's time to sober up before then. Yeah. <laughs> it's four. It's four twenty somewhere on Earth, regardless. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys are silly. That's your philosophy. Once per hour. <laughs> just this, just this by itself kind of elevated everything. So now I'm gonna go in and add some white. I feel like this is all, this is getting really close to done. You heard some dogs in the background. There's definitely dogs. There's definitely dogs. Hey Dango, welcome to the treehouse, son. Wow, the shine on the picture now. Mm hmm Yeah. We put, there's gold in the galaxy. Dust. There's gold on the rainbow. So yeah, a lot of shine. A lot of shine. And I'll be pulling out the highest form of highlight. Thank you for following. some of these spaces just to pull out some brightness some extra vibrancy really make some things pop Painted an elevator? No. <laughs> it needs elevator keys, does it? <laughs> There's twin turtle doves here. Gilfnoid, really? That looks so amazing, you're so talented. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> ah, you really want an elevator. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Stand. Maybe we'll put like a, a runic pattern, or maybe we'll put like a mandala pattern. Ooh, that's what we're missing. Thank you. That's what we're missing. That makes sense. That makes sense. I 
just going in now and picking out particular places for the brightest highlight. night friend good night ham nick sweet dreams dear hi laris welcome to the tree house goodbye beautiful people enjoy your company bye jarwell have a nice night dear you need to plant the idea of the elevator in my mind <laughs> you're gonna you're like planting seeds very gently here you go luna just take that okay water it if you want Oh, you're saying goodnight to Jawel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good night, Jawel. Sweet dreams. <laughs> you're gonna go alert, Creed, but you'll stay logged in for the raid points. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one, guys. It's always a joy. It really is, Creed. Thank you. We're gonna be wrapping up soon. Just to make up for the time we lost. We lost today because I was slow. I was slow. I was slow to get started. Treehouse Express. Glad to have you here, hon. Oh, I already painted the elevator and I didn't notice. I'm just in denial. <laughs> Thanks, Ham Nick. <laughs> you didn't know this, but you really already did it. You really already did it. Mm. It must be hidden on the inside. It must be hidden on the inside. Hmm. Hey, Express. Welcome in, hon. How are you? You can feel the light wispies of the painting. You're imagining running through them with your arms stretched out, Devo. Ah. That feels magical on its own, doesn't it? That feels magical on its own. I love it. I love it. here in this dusty spot because I kind of want it to fill the space I want it to make this dusty pattern stand out a bit more so I'm pulling a little pattern of stars in through here really concentrating it basically Yeah, the layers of light wisps. Mm -hmm. It definitely feels like it, for sure. <laughs> it 
probably feels like it for sure. Let's put a giant one over here. It's always fun for me to do this part. It's always fun for me to do this part. <laughs> You're guessing 87 for the number of shiny spots in this painting? That's your guess? Oh man, I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Thank you for the follow, monkey. More than a few. You think it's correct for 87? Oh, since we did... Since I did the Path of Stars over here. You're expecting a third... A second and third part of this painting. <laughs> it's already going to be... We already have a sister painting on another canvas over here coming in the works and we'll have another one over here is that what you're saying just keep the theme going it's like a panoramic it's gonna be like a never-ending panoramic painting a tribute to the treehouse we're like I have nothing but this uh, this panoramic panoramic of the vantage point all the way throughout my studio <laughs> all the way throughout the studio it goes everywhere everywhere <laughs> how long have I been painting <laughs> it looks beautiful thank you expressed <laughs> I've been painting since I've been painting cons consistently for about a year and a half now. Uh, I painted... I painted when I was in college a bit. Even though I was in drawing classes, I would actually relax with painting. It was interesting. I would actually relax with painting. So consistently, a year and a half when I started the stream. I was very inconsistent before that. And I didn't really do it very often. You need to do a huge window update on the laptop. It's okay, Devo. <laughs> I figured maybe you had to do an update with your computer, yeah. Honestly, that could be cool. A big, like, continuation panoramic painting. Yeah, it could be really sweet. I agree. You're, you've, you've been counting them? It's 91. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Considering you saw the tiniest ones down here, I'm just going to believe you. I'm just going to believe you. Because I have no reason to not believe you. I have no reason to not believe you. <laughs> no reason to not believe you. <laughs> hmm. 
there's definitely a lot going on. But I'm kind of, I really am okay with that. Like, I kind of always liked, um, really busy paintings that are, like, full. I've just always really liked busy paintings. So this doesn't bother me that we have a lot going on. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. It doesn't feel like it's too much for me. So, I'm just enjoying the process. I'm just enjoying it. Up, though. It's got a lot to tell. It really does, yeah. So you can see like the um, holographic kind of gold reflections on the, it's on the um, rainbow and the back of the galaxy. So like the light patterns on the galaxy are actually this reflective gold paint. Excuse me. Wow, wee, what else can we put in here? What else can we put in here? What else can we put in here? There's a lot of elements in the painting, but it's balanced and it's comfortable. Yeah, there is a lot of elements. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this guy. He's too flat. He's too flat. And so is this guy a bit. And this guy. Some of them are too flat, so I'm deciding what to do with some of the round spheres. Like they need another dimension to them. It's interesting. They need another dimension to them. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I can do that. Um, I'm, the only thing I can think of is adding orange, like a darker orange to this one. But we're almost there. We're almost there. We've made a lot of progress already. Paint some moons. Yeah, there's a couple moons. This one actually has two moons. But it looks like a it looks like another dot in all and amongst all the other dots. <laughs> Shade and highlight. Oh yeah. Hey, hope you're all having a lovely day. Hey, Post, welcome back, sweetie. We are having a lovely day. Hope you are too. <laughs> Somebody from Iowa is calling me? No thanks. I'm good. How about the shadow deer in the background for the trees? Hmm. The shadow of a deer. Oh, you're thinking like a, like a shadow is like kind of spirit animal kind of thing. Or just the shadow of a deer. That would be kind of cool. Like here? Because there's just empty space here. We have our hobbit hole we're still working on. But there's like this open space. Like with the, what about an elk? Yeah, like a silhouette with like big antlers. What about an elk? That would be kind of cool. Yeah, you were thinking here. Mm-hmm. What about an elk with big antlers? Like a shadowy silhouette. Mm hmm I like that idea, Fearful. We will do it. I like that idea. We'll do it. We'll do it. Let's see if we can get a reference photo. I usually don't use references, but I will for an elk. 
just for the shape so I can get a good shape of what I want. I want him to kind of be facing us though. Ooh, here's a good shape. Um, do we want him facing us? That kind of seems normal for him to face us. I kind of do like this shape. I already found one right away. Elk reference. Just to get his shape. I don't really care about detail about him. I just want his shape to be accurate and like realistic enough to tell what it, what he is. You know what I mean? All right, let's add this image in here so you guys can see what I'm looking at when I do this. Reference. Add. Browse. Desktop. Uh, here's the elk. They have him face kind of like this. Because you would expect him to be straight on. You would expect his shape to be right off of, like, facing sideways. You would expect him to be fully facing sideways and, like, looking at you. But this is, like, different. It's, like, he's, it's more natural. It's, more, it's a more natural stance. So let's put him in like this. You know what I'm trying to get across? That, that stance is more natural than one where he's completely sideways and his head is tilted. I don't want to do that. I want a more natural stance. So we'll pick that one. Yeah, we're using the ref, that's our reference. The deer is like, bruh, I come to your house to take a picture? <laughs> so maybe. Hmm. He's legit mad. He does kind of look mad, doesn't he? <laughs> That's pretty much what you had in mind. Yeah. Minion, do you have any tips for self-esteem? Do what you love. Do more of what you love. Yeah, I pulled the buck up for a reason because we're gonna we're gonna just really quickly just put the buck in the elk. We're just gonna throw him in there really fast. It's the bra face of deer of the deer community. <laughs> he looks like his eyebrows are really like smushed down. Like he looks like suspect a little bit. All right. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna tilt the canvas though, so it's like facing me straight on. So I don't, so my, my visuals don't get really confused. So it's gonna be like this for just a minute. So it's per perpendicular to me. I'm gonna be kind of looking behind me so I can see him. Oh, you already see a buck already? It's probably some of the shadow trees that you see, Diva. You probably see some of the shadowy trees that kind of already look like one. All right, we're just gonna put it in real quick. Then pull out his round butt. I 
He's got a round butt. Pull that in just a tiny bit. Roll his leg out. And I'm going to fade his legs down into the bottom of nothingness. So. Just going to, I'm doing this like a really quick trace outline. We're going to fluff some of his fur out. And then bring his body in. But not too sharp because he does have a little bit of a curve there. Bring down his leg, his little straight leg. And then pull his body across. Bring it up just a tiny bit. And really round off any of the edges. Pull his other leg down. to be perfect. We can be sloppy with his legs because he's he's just a silhouette. He doesn't have to be perfect. All right, he doesn't have to be perfect right now. Yeah, she saw what she saw. She's way ahead of us, Hamnick. Devo is. Oh yeah, definitely. Right where Luna is painting, yes. That's funny. But we all saw it. We're just putting it in now. We're just making him stand out. So I'll, I'll pull um, this leg forward and then pull it down. And then this leg comes down and around at an angle, but you can still see through, so it's perfect. And then we'll fill him in. He's just going to be a black blob of a shadow. We'll just fill him in. And then we'll pick out his we'll pick out his details as we go. Like I'll get really detailed with his shape a bit later. I'm just getting the general shape of him. We can fix him later. We can fix him later. He just needs to be on the canvas so we have something to work with. No, always fix him later. really play with his antlers. I'm gonna really play with his antlers. Cause he's got two that stand up pretty straight, but not quite. Then we have one that curves up kind of crazy with a little bit of a bow in it. And then it curves up again and makes some little wavy lines. Mm -hmm. He's got a little bit right here. I'll show him you close I'll show him you closer up in just a minute. And this one's a little more curved because of how it's angled. So I'm actually gonna flip my canvas so it's nice and straight. and curved. You might not be able to see him quite yet. 
He needs to dry though before I start messing with him anymore. But his overall shape is ready to go. So we'll play with him in a minute. And looking west of the painting, yeah, I'm gonna fade out his feet. His feet are gonna fade into nothingness because it's he's gonna be kind of misty looking. But I needed him to be here and present first. I needed him to be fully present on the canvas first before we work on that. <laughs> this is great, thanks Fairfield. <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, the idea, right? I appreciate the idea. And obviously you weren't the only one who saw this, right? To have multiple people kind of say, hey, yeah, I see that too, right? And <laughs> I think, you think Luna knows what, huh? What I'm talking about? They say that the feet of a rain, the feet of a rainbow is a small plot of gold where coins are hidden. And we put the elk here instead. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh -oh. The elk is the guardian of the rain, of the pot of gold. I'm just changing everything you've ever known about how pots of gold work. I hope, uh, I hope the leprechauns are okay with this. Me giving away their secrets. <laughs> I hope the leprechauns are okay with this. <laughs> really, you have to find the elk spirit. At the end of the rainbow, the elk spirit will show you where, where, the, where the pot of gold actually is. <laughs> so for all of you who have been simply looking for a pot of gold, you've been missing out. You forgot to check in with the elk spirit first. <laughs> Mafia, welcome to the treehouse. <laughs> the black thingy on the ground between the two trees. Looks like a termite house. Oh, this? We're not done with this yet. This is the hobbit hole. There was one of our tree tribe members who didn't want to live in a tree, so we put a little hobbit hole down here. We're like, fine, you can live down here. <sighs> we told them with love, they can do whatever they want. <laughs> it's like a hobbit hole, yeah. But I, I just started painting that one. That one has no details on it yet. We just started that. in your youth and it this seems like your house ah <laughs> it's this it's a cosmic tree house it's um it's in in memory in loving memory and commemoration to the tr the stream we are the cosmic tree house so <laughs> as a historian i reject hammock <laughs> You're welcome to object and reject it all the all you want. It's a it's a free world here in the treehouse. But you're not allowed. But the only rule is, you're not allowed to take my you're not allowed to take my place in the treehouse. <laughs> An elevator. have to ring the bell for service to the elevator. It's like an old school pulley system. It's an old school pulley system. Who's who's the one pulling the ropes? Somebody's got to volunteer 
to be the, uh, the one who works on the pulley system. <laughs> Wasn't there a tree atop of the bag end, Latorio? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like firefighters when they come down? You wanna- wait, now you're saying you want a pole? A fireman pole, Hamnick? Do you know what you want? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is pretty funny. I'll tell you the truth. It's pretty funny. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put a little wisp for his tail. I know they don't usually have big tails, but I'm putting a little wisp for his tail. He needs a little wisp for his tail. I'll show you. There he is. He's a little wet, so you can't. He's a little wet. You see him with his little tail. <laughs> He's there. Hi, Mr. Brightside. You just wanted to say what's up? On your break at work? Hey, what's up, hon? Glad to see you. <laughs> You're getting jealous of the person who's going to have the painting? This is our painting. This one's not a commission. This one was commissioned by me. And my love of the treehouse. This was a this was a, pa a painting commissioned by me, so nobody owns this painting yet. This is one that's just gonna go up for sale. <laughs> You're being jealous of me, then. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> you like it expressed? I'm so glad. Oh, that's right. We should go. It's that time of day. We should go. It was a pleasure having all of you, but it is 6 p.m. now. It is 6 p.m. now. We've streamed for our, we've streamed for our five hours of painting on Wednesday. We've gotten, wow, really far today. Really far. I love and appreciate you all very much. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for those of you who have painted with us. Um, it's time for me to eat some dinner. So I'm gonna go find somebody for us to raid. Um, we will be live tomorrow in the evening at this time. This is our normal time to actually start being live. So if you're just popped in and you're like, gosh darn it, I just got here. It's all right, we'll be live tomorrow at this exact same time. So we're gonna find somebody to raid. I don't, um, let's see who's doing Art? Let's see who's maybe doing traditional art with us. <laughs> Remember to ask for the next the elevator next stream. Oh my gosh. Hey Billy. Billy Ben Baggins. Welcome to the treehouse. <laughs> Thank you, lovely, and thanks for taking your suggestions. Fairfield, I always take suggestions, hon. If if it feels right in my heart. And, I, and it feels like a good idea, and I want to do it, I'm just like, heck yeah, we'll do it. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. So I'm going to see who's doing traditional art. Unless you guys want to go say hi to a tarot person? 
because there are a couple of people doing tarot right now. Um, <laughs> I do try to reach out to like traditional artists though, but it's kind of hard to find traditional art. Oh, there's a Turkish person <gasps> doing a portrait. I mean, we, we would have a hard time saying hi, maybe, even unless they know English. <laughs> hey, Caps, welcome to the treehouse, son. So what do you want to do? Do we want to try a traditional art person? Like this Turkish guy? Or do we want to try... Or do we want to try one of our tarot people? Looks like they're doing a portrait, though. They just started. You want to try the jerkiest guy? Okay, let's try the jerkiest guy. If if all else fails, all we're going to do is maybe share emotes. <laughs> it looks like he's under... Hilia Soy Sick? Hilia Soy Sick. Let's see if we can read this person. Here we go. Oh, she's got red hair. I'm just kidding. It's not a man. It's a woman. Maybe she's got crazy red hair. A lot of it. Wow. At least in her in the profile picture she does. Dang. <laughs> so she's doing a portrait. We're just gonna say hi, share some love, show some support. It it is under Turkish, so they might not speak English, but at least we can share some hearts. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending time with me, just chilling, enjoying the space, enjoying the art. I'm very excited for tomorrow. We'll catch you live tomorrow. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm not sure how to say their name, but enjoy them and share the love, guys. I appreciate you. Goodbye. I'm going to go eat food now. Catch you next